Well, Harold. you all approach uh, said dragon, Perseus, who arrives at the precipice, as you all do with the pumpkin, knowing that you would be here, and greets you all with a dragon noise all. as I wrong. mute my sub sounds. He does not say masterworks all. That doesn't happen. Mr. DM, can we please have a dragon noise? Ooh, ooh, rawr. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened to these dragons? I don't like this dragon. Hey, so the it is dragon. done. You have found something blue. Yes, what? and... Wait, it only had to be blue, is that it? I elbow no. medium Tony. Ow, okay, sorry, sorry. He stomp <clears throat> He stomps closer to inspect what you've brought him, eyeing it with a faint light deep in his uh, hollow eye sockets, looking at it, spiring all around it. Do you show him the the lighty up mechanic? Is yes. it pre lit or No no no, oh, I will light it for it's you lit. in a dramatic fashion. <sighs> It is lit. <laughs> sure is, buddy. Mm, a three out of ten, but I will accept it. Oh. Wait, if we had gotten like a high school, would you have given us something better? Or like... There's also a sapphire inside, just for extra bling. I specifically said nothing from nature of plants and flowers disgust me. You bring me a did you? pumpkin. I don't, did? I don't remember that part. I, don't I remember, that, remember that part. Oh. I guess if he shed it, then he would remember it. How about a sapphire? It's barely from nature. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the clouds. It looks very pretty. Hand it over. We also worked on another gift for you. A surprise. Yes. Tell me, what do you hate most? Uh, don't answer that. Do you... Mm. <clears throat> Sorry, just waking up here. <laughs> if I say ballista, what is the first thought that comes to your mind? Destroy it, killing dragons. Now, what if I were to say Ballista equals no shoot at dragon? Which Ballista? The one of the nearby fort. The one in That's the fort. Right. Oh. Your local friends did it for you. We then convinced them not to shoot the at you. Castle. No, no. Yeah, not quite. What but it's just as good, honestly. It's like basically the same thing. They'll no longer shoot at you, and all you have to do is not kill them. And maybe keep your eyes out for something strange? Like a golem. And let them know? Yes, have you seen a golem wandering around? He takes a moment to take in everything that's being said to him and trying to figure out why it's being said to him. You were supposed to get me something blue to pay your debt. You killed Harold, and now I owe you. No, 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 no. We went to them to try and... Well, originally we were going to try and break the bill of stay, but we realized we were out of our depths. So we instead tried to negotiate something. Now, you don't have to do this. It's... Just pretty much the best thing that we could get out of the situation. They said if you didn't, um... That if you didn't hurt them, then they wouldn't fire at any dragons anymore. That sounds well, only that. stupid. Oh. Dragons don't hurt people. Yeah. That's what we told them, and they were like, really? 
Could you... You might be able to convince them if we just walk up to the castle with you. If you just start talking to them and they see that you're not like a human-hungry monster. I can't do that. Why not? Why? Shy. All those eyes looking at me. Shy. Yep, shy. Mm. What if Tony went naked? Then everyone would be watching him instead of you. Yeah, everybody oh. would be looking at all of this. I don't want to see Tony naked. Hi, hypothetically, oh what God. if we brought one of well, them first. here to talk to you? I don't really want to have this conversation. Well, sometimes you gotta face your emotions. I you am a on. dragon. I don't need to do anything. Well, I mean, you know, I'm just saying that everybody's got feelings, even if you should drag it. I'd like to see you make me talk to them. Oh, I thought you were going to say I'd like that? to see you naked. I did. No. I thought he was going to say yeah, that I thought too. he was going to say that. No, your fleshy man sacks is not what I had in mind. Um. Well, those ballistas are going to keep shooting at you until you convince them you're not a mindless beast. I just won't fly over there. Jimmy, I'm muted. Oh. I knew that. They think you're insane and just some wild animal. All you have to do is take uh, five minutes you. out of your day. Yeah, just walk up, not. say hi. And they'll probably stop shooting at you. Or even better, without having to talk to them, you figure out where a golem is nearby with your big flappy wings, and then you tell us, and we tell them, and everything's square. And then we tell them that you told us. Right. I'm sorry, you repeat that. I was fixing something. something else. It was a very confusing statement, and I fixed something on the stream while you said it. I said, without having to talk to them, you use your flappy wings to find maybe a golem nearby. You tell us where it is. We tell them. We tell them you told us where it is. Bing, bam, boom, you're square. Hey, bada bing, bada boom. There I'm, you go. I'm already square. And you won't have to talk to anyone but us. I don't even like talking to you. Kind of figure. You can I talk to a, us less. I have a counter proposal. Okay. Listening. Sure. I would like you all to find something red. Oh, oh okay. To remind me of volcanoes exploding in power and redness. Does it have to be from nature? No. I hate nature. No, not nature. Okay, he doesn't like nature. Okay. okay. Doesn't and nature make up like. 90% of the Volcanoes are different. That's nature. No. Well, yeah, Jimmy, but don't know the dragon, Jimmy. It's it cool back. nature. Oh my god, that's Jimmy. 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 Volcanoes are nature. Oh I no, 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 I can't be responsible you. for this. Say it again. I don't know this well. boy. We are not with him. We do not know this kid. Jimmy defiantly <laughs> stands in front of the dragon. Volcanoes are nature. The dragon, Jimmy, please. At ridiculous speed, raises one hand and slams Jimmy into the ground. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh! Holy fuck! Well, I knew he was gonna get it one day. I just didn't expect it from a dragon. <laughs> uh, Jimmy has permanently gained an injury, losing twenty-five percent max HP. It. Unfortunately, rolled as a major injury, meaning he'll start every combat with three week. Oh, oh nice. my god. Oh, what? <laughs> Say it again. Is he alive? <laughs> I guess Puke's watching a little child get fucking <laughs> crushed by a giant dragon. Maybe you could. Oh boy, does anybody know? Oh god. Copernicus. Copernicus. Can someone... <laughs> Copernicus casts a uh, fucking heal human. <laughs> Triage. I'm I already I expecting... I him because he's dead. I'm already expecting <laughs> just a picture of, of fucking Jimmy as Yamcha in a crater. Yeah. 
I forgot about that. I think about that every day of my life. I forgot about the not being able to heal him because he's dead. Yeah, minus 95 hit points. There you go. Oh, you can okay. target him. Oh, because it was minus max HP, I healed to full. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's actually just a child now. I've always been a child. Now you actually you fight like one cane. too. Well, now you're actually crippled instead of just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> now ah, I actually that's, need this cane. That's, a, that's poetic justice. Um, <laughs> Tony walks up to Jimmy and looks at him. Is he in like a foot-shaped crater? Yes. Okay. Like a claw, uh, yeah. Yeah, like a claw-shaped crater. Jimmy uh, is. Jimmy, Fading out of consciousness. Uh, Tony will look down at him with the toothpick in his mouth. Throw the toothpick down on the ground. Hey, roll around. You'll be all right. <laughs> Attaboy, uh, Tom. Uh, Rub some dirt in. I have dirt in me. <laughs> <laughs> just starts fussing over Jimmy, just like brushing him off, trying kind of desperately and vainly to try and somehow fix this there's no way well at least he made something red oh, fuck. <laughs> not for this is all this blood care. red enough for you and it's a lot of red and he's kind of exploding i don't like it you have one week to make me something red he jumps off the cliff with his pumpkin in between his mouth. I, his I thought we were square. I, I'm confused okay, what this well, is for. After he's impressed our companion, I've determined, let's go talk to the castle and just have them bring their ballista here. And then when he comes back for something red, we can just shoot him there. Whoa, no. wait a minute, wait no. a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Are you talking about betraying the dragon? I don't think, one, yes. I don't think that's a good strategy. And two, uh... I think that's, like, possibly the worst karma you could possibly have. But Death is right, he's an idiot. Death? And he's dangerous. So says that Oh, wait, wait, I never said he was an idiot. What did you say? I never said the dragon was an idiot. Well, what did you say then? Only I can say that he's an idiot because he's my baby boy. <laughs> this is your child? All dragons are children of death. Is that why they got like skull you faces? Him or, like, ah, let him know that yes. his behavior is unacceptable. They look like their father. Yeah, they got his eyes. They yeah. fall from the tree. Ugh. Jimmy spits out blood. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta do something about Jimmy, huh? Hmm. <laughs> yes, you should eat the weak. We're not eating Jimmy, Death. <laughs> Cannibalism is wrong. Okay, I mean, if we did eat Jimmy, though. This is exactly I mean, what I was saying, and you didn't listen. If you get him mean? something blue, he's just going to want more, and then you're stuck forever. We tried okay. to do your thing with you the ballistas. You didn't do my thing. You didn't we... destroy the ballistas. You just talked and talked, and you brought him nothing. How uh, could we even they destroy armor? the ballistas? They're all talking at once. How could we even destroy the ballista? I don't know, like a cosmic sunbeam. We can't. We do can't that. do that. Can any of you guys do that? No. Pig farmer, we can't no. do that. I can do this. Jimmy coughs up blood. Okay. Mm. Maybe we should drop a Jimmy off at the nearest inn. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, why did you taunt the dragon? Because. I stand up for my values. No, you don't. Like, you lie every breath. Volcanoes are nature. A little shit. Don't act like you have values. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my value is that I'm better than him. Okay. He's a well, bitch. This I disagree. Was your weird, He's a giant was, dragon, and you're a yeah, child. This, this was a weird time to really kind of like, you know. Double down. <laughs> double down on that. Like, uh, there were a lot of things you could have doubled down on earlier that wouldn't have, I don't know, done dish emotions there to the foot in the ground. There are certain principles you can't compromise on. For Jimmy, it's that volcanoes are nature. 
Wow, I didn't know you had such depth, depth, Jimmy. Very I didn't cool. Think it would crush me. Well, I did. You really? You wait a minute. Hold on, everybody. Shut, everybody. Shut the fuck up. You didn't think that that guy would crush you? I don't that know. Guy. We have death in us. Maybe he wouldn't kill me. Why would? That death wants to kill you. Everything wants to kill you. Yep. Yes, I would. Yeah, no would be pretty amazing if the dragon would kill you. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, Ask, can all you right. heal me? I already healed you. You're, you're like you're good. No, I'm not. You're, you're I'm, good. I'm not. Oh, uh, you're just mortally wounded, but you're good. No, I need <coughs> money. Pay for my surgery. Uh, all right. I literally I use money to heal you, so that's not going to work on me. Okay. <laughs> I know how healing works. You can't trick me. <laughs> A few arms for the poor. I'm the I'm the healer of the group. You're talking to the wrong person. Couple arms for the poor. I have two arms for the poor. I'll I'm pick them up. More than you. Yeah, all you right. have all of the money. <laughs> yeah, doesn't he have like all of our money? Guys, I think I have a solution that doesn't oh, involve God, killing no, I don't you. want to go. Go on. I'm willing to hear it. Oh, I see you're coming around to my side. That's very good, very good. You're very smart, Eerie. Oh. Listen. Perseus will listen to me. I am his daddy. But in order for you all to come together and prove that that is what you really want, as a dragon uh, to yeah. obey your orders and to help this big yeah. uh, order. Yeah. Then I'm going to need some form of crazy solar beam ritual. Okay, um, what is your crazy solar beam you? ritual? Uh, something to prove that it is really what you want, like, I don't know, a sacrifice or... I mean, you probably like will have to kill human? one of the serpents or... <sighs> Oh, just one of the serpents. I mean, anyone will probably do. Mm. I don't kill human. So, like, find another one. Well, the point is it's supposed to be uncomfortable for you. Could it be Why? like a bad human? Like Why a, are you like trying to make us feel uncomfortable? Because if you're not uncomfortable, then you didn't really want it. Is that how that works? It is how yeah. it works. I would know I'm a god, you fucking little round potato man. He's more like a thought. Hey. Yeah, I think that Does is a compliment. Does everyone have to be uncomfortable or just one person? I'd prefer if you are all uncomfortable as we all share the burden of living with me. Okay, well there. We are already uncomfortable with you in our heads. Not Mission uncomfortable enough. Listen. Just something with a lot of blood in a circle, and then you draw the pictures in the circle and the blood, and you join hands, and you say, Oh, nope. death, would you please do something out. other than nope. make a uh, pumpkin blue? Me, I'm, I'm Harris, you there. blood over here. <sighs> There'll be no blood circles. Very well, then you don't want my help after all. Well, that solves that then. <laughs> Let's go find something red. That's not from nature. <laughs> That's... I don't know how we can do that. Well, there's gotta be plenty of red stuff. Like, we could just get him a ruby instead of a sapphire. Well, that's still from nature. I think the problem is, is oh, like, we, we need to find... I... Uh... It, it, we didn't even give them a pumpkin necessarily, and if the pumpkin counted, even though it was like, no, I'm not giving him you. Um, but if we, we did give him Jimmy, no, that would solve a lot of our problems. It wouldn't solve mine. I'm dying with the wealth. Mm. We can't give away the kid. He's part of our team where we protect the town together. Yeah. He's my friend and I protect my friends. Well, the way I see it, this dragon is exceptionally dangerous. I don't particularly like him after he crushed poor Jimmy for just uh, saying that a volcano is nature, which I think is true. I mean, it is true, but what do you... I'm not going to tell him that. Hey, Listen, honestly, if it's I any... think this age disorder might have the right idea. 
If it's any consolation, mm -hmm. Jimmy, you are correct. Volcano is his nature. Yes. Tony. Looks left to right. I'm validated. All right, then what are you going to do? What if... We, all right, crazy idea, gang. What if we all join the Aegis Order? What? Sure. I mean, okay, let's take a vote on it. One. Is there like a membership fee or something or what? Two. Two. Maybe we'll get that cool armor. Ah, uh, Jimmy, cool armor. Uh, I'll count that three. I. Uh, I can't help but feel like this would be relinquishing more power away from our. Especially if we're the ones to join, then we are. We're the redeemers. We're, we're, we have to protect well, our town. Isn't yes, that the whole purpose I... of the Aegis Order? That fort was there mm -hmm. to do what the redeemer did not. And if we are the redeemers, right. then why not we work with them? I am beginning to think that that is actually a falsehood. And that they said that to try and wrestle control away from the redeemer. Uh, next you're going to tell me volcanoes are nature. <laughs> I mean, they, they age. They kind of are, but it's... I regret to say this, but I'm starting to notice a pattern. Death is right. Eh. Oh, yes, victory! You see it now clearly, don't you? It's... It, okay, uh, he, he is right about some things. Oh, I'm right about the incomprehensible power I could unleash if you would only prove you wanted. It's... okay, look. Oh, yeah, we, we need to protect sideways, and we, has... You don't want death, a god, to help you protect your shitty little town that he made. Uh, that's also an interesting part about it. But anyway, um... He, he was right about... The dragon, he was right about how you would pretty much react, so I'm getting the feeling is that if we don't destroy the Bellis Day, we might be just stuck like this forever. And I'm going to be honest, finding a new color and a new thing every single fucking week will probably drive us insane or broke. Whichever first. Uh, or so smash you would further into the ground. I'm going to be honest, Jimmy, that was kind of your own fault. Maybe like, this you're is my like friend, but oh my gosh, hard. why? I warned you. He's a bitch. Okay, yeah, anyway. Uh, um, look, I got an idea, okay? Why don't I sneak into the fort late at night, pass the guards, sabotage the bullish day, bada boom, it's done. Mm. Nope. Can't they just repair them? I... It, well, there is that, too. They'd have to build a whole new one. Look, your guys being kind of... Single-minded on this. Those ballistae are used for multiple things besides shooting dragons. If we are to destroy them, then the entire countryside will be running rampant with all sorts of beasts of nature. And that'll fuck up sideways. I don't want that. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> so the way I see it, we got two options. We can go get this dragon something red and hope he doesn't ask for anything else and just be rid of him for now. We could go join the Aegis Order and see where that leads us. Or see. Um, uh, kill well, yourself. There are two options. We could kill ourselves, but I don't think I want to do that. Oh, blood sacrifice. Oh, blood sacrifice. Right. That was the third option. I've got blood. Same. 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 Oh, Most of the blood's blood. already on the ground, though. Jimmy, that, that's, it's. it's... It's like a killing kind of ritual. It's not just putting blood on the ground. Oh, I feel dead. I'll go back to sleep. <sighs> so, where are we headed on this? Direct cause... insight. We can do another vote. I, I, I vote. Sacrifice a pig. My pig? Whoa, Jimmy, what the fuck? Pigs are for eating, not sacrificing. 
<laughs> they are for eating. We sacrifice them when we're hungry, not to big dragons. Well, technically, we're not sacrificing it to a big dragon. We're sacrificing it to the god of death. Is he going to eat it? Uh, Ash Kim. No. <laughs> well, well then go. it's a waste. That's the point. Well, it's supposed to be a waste. People. That's heresy, and I am against it. What? I already mm -hmm. almost lost one of my pigs last night. I'm not going to lose another one. What do you How'd mean? you almost lose a pig last night? Beef broke into my... That giant ogre from the cave beef broke into my uh, farmhouse and he stole one of my pigs. I had to chase him into the woods to get it back. Why did beef take your pig? Something that the redeemer used to do. He'd take one of my pigs. I never learned the reason why. Wait. What? Wait, you stopped the thing that the Redeemer would do? Well, yeah, Beef said he had to continue it, so he took one of my pigs out into the forest. There were a bunch of gold coins on trees and some circles of mushrooms. I was able to convince him that he can just come get bacon from the town instead of eating it raw. So I took my pig back and we ate some mushrooms together in the forest. That sounds nice. She it presses nice. her palms together and presses it against her face. <sighs> So you're saying that there was a thing that the Redeemer did, ritualistically, and you stopped it. Well, yeah, I don't want my pig to just get killed. I mean, if he's going to eat it, at least make it bacon first. It was probably a ritualistic sacrifice to do who knows what, because we have no information about what's going on. Well, then I'm glad I stopped that heresy. I turn around and I hold up a hand what? for Copernicus. I slap it. Yes, yeah, sister. Woo! No, oh, yes, you should probably just ignore this plot line. <laughs> Definitely nothing going on there. What do you have to say about it, Seymour? You're always <laughs> piping up. What do you what do you got? Come on, dish. Uh, I think we should all just throw a big party, invite everyone from all across the lands. It would be so fantastic. And then we bring all the snakes together and we step on them and we smash them and we put them all in one barrel and drop it off the cliff. Why do you hate snakes so much? Shut we up. Should deal with, we should deal with snakes. I definitely explain this perhaps in episode four. Oh, well, I'll have to life. watch the VOD, I guess. I need to forget as well. I'm jealous. I All right, I'll just cut to the point. I'm fucking jealous because they're so cute and no one loves dragons. I like dragons. I think dragons are pretty cool. Oh, oh, All right. I hate no, dragons. I think it was so cool. Oh, fuck you, Jimmy. Jimmy. They're starting to see things my way. Another 10,000 years with me in your head and you'll get it right. We don't live that long. No, you will now, boy. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Wait, what? How fucking old was Harold? I, well, oh, no. I didn't ask him before he died. Oh, Am yeah. I gonna look like Harold? <laughs> he was so I mean, wrinkly. I mean, you're he looks at her old. hands. Shut up! <laughs> oh, yes, old. your skin will fall off before your mind wavers. Do no. we still age? We just don't die? Oh, you may have to kill yourselves at some point. We could probably pass you off to someone. Like, uh, we could have someone, like, raised up as the next death host. Put, put it in jitters. That would work. Jitters already has them. Um... All right. Yeah, what is Jitters what? up to? Wait, what, what are you telling Jitters this whole time, Seymour? We aren't with him, so we don't know. Oh, me and Jitters are getting along well. He's a fun guy. Is he your favorite of us? Oh, I would definitely say if you're going to do a blood sacrifice, I would accept Jitters' body. Oh, so no, what? not your favorite. But I mean, what do you owe Jitters? Red sticks? You owe him nothing. All right, we're going in circles here. Uh, from what I gathered, <clears throat> there was something weird in the woods that Emmy did. You said it had to do with the Redeemer, right? Yeah. Do we well, want to I chase that down? Anymore. You maybe show us where it was? Yeah, sir, I can show you. No, this is dumb. The Redeemer's a fraud. Don't listen to it. Okay, all right. One vote for no. We could join the order. Uh, the order then, sucks. Uh, they kill dragons. Why would you want to? Well, ally we can with make the them dragon? not kill dragons. You Seymour, can't make and that them way, do anything. 
We could change you from the inside, right? Yeah. That never works. I doubt that's gonna happen. Or kill dragons. Wait, wait. I think I know what what he would like. I think I know what Seymour wants. He points to the cliff. I bet he just wants us to jump off that. That would be pretty cool if you did a flip. <laughs> oh, All right. Well, flip. that doesn't help anything. I promise you a pleasant afterlife if you do a flip. Mmm. Well, I don't know about that. Can I get that writing? Sure. You know. Uh oh. -uh. No writing. Oh, no writing. Got no. you. <laughs> I. I do Arthur bald fist at Tony. <laughs> <sighs> we must Tony, decide I something. I, I want to see the place that Emmy was talking about. All right, sure. it's decided then. We will have the same conversation over there. Very cool. I will lead the group to it the little then. clearing in the forest then, where I ate all those mushrooms. Just kind of like loop Jimmy. Jimmy stands up, his. cane in hand. D D D Tony. Uh, yeah. Can I have a, a piggyback ride? <laughs> I'm so frail and dead. You actually need I the ain't... crutch now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Get on. Hell yeah. Uh, he'll he'll hoist <laughs> me onto his onto his back, but he'll also very carefully watch his pockets. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, you knew my first you knew your game. I was actually going to try and steal. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> that thumb is quick on the uptake. Uh, he knows my game. <laughs> he like keeps trying to put his hand in his pocket. He slaps it away. Cut it out. <laughs> Where are we at? One moment. We've disappeared. I'm moving you as you just it was decided. It is decided then. Alien music. Oh. There's a UFO. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you all oh, set man. out into the to be probed. Go ahead. Sorry. Mm. You all set out into the woods. And Emmy leads you the best that she can to try and go find the circle that was completely eaten and entirely dismantled. Nice. It, it was nighttime when she went to go look for it, and Beef led her most of the way, so she is not 100% sure the direction she's going. Oh, snap. Most of the woods... Do I need to roll for that or anything? Uh, you can roll... Uh, I don't know if you have Investigate or Naturalist or anything... That might uh, help definitely you. not. I've only put points into muscles. My muscle memory is crazy, though. God damn it. Yeah, no, you don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> the mist of the woods builds up, and it's hard to find your way. You think you're going in the right direction, but before you can find the ritual fungi circle where the pig was supposed to be sacrificed you stumble across a little hut in the woods <gasps> oh and miss you this <laughs> character is different <laughs> i know i know, I know. so like still... take the meta out of your mind it might look like you it's not you notters should i be seeing darkness yes okay i see it one stick in the middle of my screen <laughs> I saw one stick and then I zoomed out and now I can't find the stick anymore. Yeah, I'm in the same I'm Oh, there it is. Okay. It's, oh, it was a door. I see. <gasps> it's, a, it's a stick door. I mean, if you think about it, a door is just a really flat and tall stick. Well, guys, a house grew out of the mushrooms I ate. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, there was no house here last time. This uh, must have just popped up out of the ground. Are you sure about that? Part of the ritual, or did you just get lost? There's no possible way that I am lost. See if that works. I, this kind of broke everything last time, but I'm willing to break everything again. Oh my like, god! There's spooky 
There's smoke. Spooky Ooh, fog. Boy. Nice. Oh, it's rolling. I think Jimmy's stats got reset too. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, hit, something was wrong with yeah. how much health Fuck got reduced. Up. He lost 50% health instead of 25%. Oof. I mean, um, honestly, it's fine. Crippling just, injury. Just, just turn me into a full-on cripple. It's fine. Yeah. I, how much should I have? Uh, you. That's how much you should have. Um, if you mean without the minus 25%. That's fine. Uh, I think he had 24 before, but... I feel like I did have 24 before. I mean, did you ever go down in combat before? No. Nope. In fact, I don't think I've ever been hit. Yeah, so if it was 24 before, something was goofy. Except by Copernicus, because he just hits kids. He punched... I've been... <laughs> I've taken more damage from Copernicus than I have anything else in this campaign combined. Yeah, you're supposed to have 32 right now. Nice. Oh. oh, he may have given, yeah, given up health and downtime, just like I did. Oh, yeah, I did give up max HP. Nice. Now I'm even more frail. Oh, wait, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, from and, and it was 25%? Moves. I don't know mm -hmm. if it'd be another 25%. Was it a percentage or a flat amount that got reduced? I thought you got like minus 5 or minus 10 HP or yeah, something I, like I that. I thought it was like minus 5. I thought it was minus 5. Yeah. It was anyway. minus health for plus movement. Hold on. Let me double check. I have that written. Somewhere. Also, am I starting every combat with 3 week or just the next combat? Every. Nice. It's permanent. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. That's why and, I got so scared. And weak is what? Minus 50% damage? Minus 30%. Nice. Okay. I just used my turn to buff Tony anyway. Awesome. I hand the ball to Tony. Yeah, I have uh, no idea. So anyway, you're in the misty woods and you come across a, a witch's hut that sort of has rocks and twigs wrapped all the way around it almost like it's a bird's nest but sized for people me well this definitely wasn't the circle but i'm not so sure that we should just leave it maybe we could see if someone lives here i mean the fact that the door is open sort of In perfect the they must not be home Whoa, whoa, just because nobody's home doesn't mean we can just... Well, okay, whatever, I'm not going to stop you. As Jimmy will politely investigate. knock on I, the edge of the door frame. I must remain neutral at all times. Be cautious of heresy, this place stinks of it. Hello? Is anyone there? A creepy old lady with decrepit, almost like moldy old skin and blood red oh, eyes rushes to the door to answer oh, Jesus. i don't think she was that gross last time what happened to you oh, oh hello i've been looking for you you're here early come in uh, 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 i mean there are storybooks about witches and kids uh, uh, you might get eaten uh, uh, tony you're here! Yeah. Uh, on. You're finally here! I'm here, I'm here. Hey, lay, what's up, lady? Oh, How are you? Please don't fear an old lady. Just come in. Uh, okay, why do we just gotta come in? I have food. Aren't you I hungry? Up. You got breadsticks in Yes! There. No breadsticks. All right, Sinners. that's it. We gotta go find something else. Sorry, oh, guys, but, we're out of here. But please, please, I haven't had company in so long. Pernicus uh, tries to look through the door and see if he sees any books. You do not see any books, just a lot of tables with a lot of different plants and herbs 
as she has taken great care in setting up her home in this very specific way to even lay flowers out on the uh, flower beds and bushes and everything seems very well tended to, but no books. He's going to look to Tony and do a little hand signal for eyes pointing and then mime opening a book with his hands and then and then like slicing his neck. Uh, what? Yeah, look out for paper cuts. Got it. Uh, Eerie, please convince your Whoa. friends. What? Whoa. You you know this person? Oh, well, of never course, met your... of course. You. How do you know my name? I know many things. Do you know their names? Mm, not so much. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm here uh, okay. a, a bit of an E. Does anyone have an E name? Nope. Perhaps ending in an E. Nope. We have E E E R E. I mean, I don't know nothing about no letters. Oh. I don't think Emmy can spell, so I think I think we're good. He definitely. I, I definitely cannot read or spell. <laughs> a Tony, a Jimmy, an Emmy, even. Hey, that's me! Wait. Okay. What the fuck? All right, well, she knows who he is. How All do right. you know us? You don't know me, though. Mm, your mustache confuses the mind. Good! It is as intended. Then you stay outside. The others, please. I have plenty to eat. Anything you want. No one's going anywhere without I. It is rude to wait upon my doorstep. It is rude to not invite a traveler in. It's also rude not to introduce yourself. Aha! True, Tony! Oh, 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 I forget sometimes not all are all-knowing and don't know names. It is I, Camarilla. You can call me Cammy, Cam, Rilla, whatever pleases. Cammy's actually a kind of a okay. name. She seems nice. Are you a hag? <gasps> oh. How dare you! In my own home. I am not in your home yet. Oh, he's got you there. Very well, if you don't trust, then I don't trust. Uh, she never oh answered my, my question. What which question? Is she a hag? That's... I mean... That's kind of an insult. If, it's Apparently a simple kind of question. The answer is no if you're not a hag. It's Maybe still we can mean. go undercover on the assumption that she is. And if we Watch find this. out. Emmy, are you a hag? I, I, uh, uh, no. There you go. No offense taken. I feel offended. Of course I am. I mean, we can always just do hag? what we normally do and throw me at it. No. No, I'm, just a, like... I'm just a small and she say no and, and slightly blush broken hide? child. No, no, no. She said, okay, so, so like before she was like timidly standing, like obviously unsure of what the fuck to do. And when Jimmy was like, just throw me at it, she just like immediately stepped forward in front of everybody. Uh -uh. Oh, Eerie. Uh... I have a guest then so exciting. Mm. What is it you fear? What is it that ails you? I just don't know how you know my name or everyone else's, except for uh, his awkward stepping with robotic movements. There is much go in with her? that you can learn without ever seeing. The cards, the divinations, the cosmos, they speak to you. Uh, you are not afraid, are you, of the occult? I feel I... it. Hmm. 
Hmm. She's, she said a cult. Hmm. Scarlet has taught me how to go about it safely. And by that, I mean how to maneuver around it safely. Oh, it is all safe. You need not worry. A trained hand, a skilled hand, sure. Confidence, a strong mind. Born with it, maybe. Hmm. Okay, I'll bite. What are you talking about? I'm talking about everything. What am I not talking about, Eerie? Ah. Uh, specifics? Oh, well... The myriad is already within you. It is within hmm. us all. They cannot ah. deny it. Hmm. Okay. And? And what? Do you fear yourselves? Do you think yourself too stupid, untrustworthy? No. Then you have nothing to fear here. But fear yourself. So what exactly are you suggesting we do here? You expect so much I can simply invite you in. Have you never seen hospitality before? No. Well, actually, yes. Once. No, yes, uncertain the futures are. Most of the time, no. You ask her where the mushroom circle is? Don't you already know where that is? No, I, it was dark. <gasps> Emmy, Emmy, do you even know how to get back to the village? No. Okay, do oh, yes. you know where a mushroom circle is? <laughs> yes, yes, of course, of course, not far. Though these woods are hard to get through without a knowing mind. Mm, I've done it before. How far Twice. have you traveled then, young Eerie? I would rather not say. Ah, but alone. Fear. Wait. Fear of everything. Fear of yourself. It's in there, within. I'm not scared of myself. Are you scared distinctly. of your future? No. Then you would like to see what it holds. Ah. Uh, she, like, looks back at the party, quirking an eyebrow. You can see the future? Oh. Ooh. The future is within us all. The aspects of the myriad are not set in the present, the future, or the past. And it is all within. You must only look there. Hmm. So, if you don't mind me asking, this future-looking thing, or future-past-everything-looking thing, is that why you look so... I look so um, what? Uh, fucked up. You look a little fucked up. You, your your skin takes on a green pallor. It is not. Um. I think it's a very fetching look, but I am just curious. I survive off nature. I eat what I must. Long life it gives me. Hmm. Unnatural though it may seem. Those of Sideways haven't seen far enough of the world. Jimmy steps forward. Oh. Intrigued by the conversation. Ah, join us, join us. Surely, little boy, you don't fear everything which appears a little different. I got crushed earlier. I <gasps> fear nothing now. I see your bone. Protruding from your leg. <laughs> I'm sure you're like bandaged and crushed. It's not like a weird euphemism. Oh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. I got smashed into the ground. I 
can't even walk now. And you're also Cockney now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't British. even walk now. I can't even, I can't I can't even, even walk now. I can't even walk now. It's, it's so like awful. Sam's really here. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ah, uh, would you like a about... mushroom or something to make yourself um, comfortable? Um, sure. All right, she'll step over aside. She has like a whole bunch of random tea kettles and old pots that she must have picked up from around the area and starts mixing some uh, tea. Drinking uh, a tea cannot possibly backfire in any way. Oh, no, totally not. <laughs> While she's doing that, with her back turned, Copernicus is gonna take this candle. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, this, this candle gone. Copernicus has it. She turns back to Erie after a moment, handing her a little cup. She drinks herself some tea. Smells of earth. It's very green. Surely very healthy for you. Boy, would you like one as well? Uh, sure? Mm. Question mark. I thought I was just going to be handed a mushroom. This, this is not what I... Oh, oh there's mushrooms in there, dear. Uh-huh. Here you go, boy. Jimmy holds the cup in his hands. Uh... I mean you no harm. I simply want to guide you, to help you, to help you see the truth of it all. Jimmy. To help you remember. Jimmy. I mean, it can't possibly backfire any harder Jimmy. than the rest of the day has. And it would piss off Copernicus, so that already makes me more interested. What the fuck? Remember? Oh, he's a fool. Jimmy. Even opulence is within us all, even die. Jimmy drinks the tea. He takes the oh, fuck. <laughs> This boy, I swear to fucking God. It's a very strong acquired taste, a lot like uh, any sort of earthy tea, but okay. no immediate effects. You're not like vomiting or anything. I mean, if, if just so you know, if Copernicus shows disinterest in it, it makes Jimmy just want to do it just that much more. <laughs> What, just when? Them. Since when have we discovered this <laughs> dynamic? <laughs> since the beginning! <laughs> you... It's been subtle, but it has been there. <laughs> it started when you punched me. Okay. It became when you tried to make me piss myself in my bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you kept saying, don't make me piss myself, and then that made me... made him want to do it more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God, this is, this is so weird to me. <laughs> Yuri! Doesn't taste too hmm? bad, and I don't feel weird, I think. Is your life predetermined? Well, fuck, I hope not. <gasps> A good enough answer. So then you believe your fate is up to you? I mean, if I didn't, then nothing I did mattered. Sure, sure, yes, yes. But then if I were to tell you your future, would you even believe me? I would take it under advisement. Oh, good, good. Would you like some friendly advisement? What would this entail exactly? Just looking upon the stars, letting the myriads show me your fate. Hmm. And would this make me crazy? No, no, of course not. Not even like a little bit? You need not worry. She pulls out a deck, like a tarot deck. The edges decaying and moldy and ripped and torn, seen years and years and years of use. The myriad will only flow through I. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's definitely heresy, isn't it? Uh, it depends if you're buying what she's selling about it being within everyone. Copernicus Parnicus is going to give a very heresy. hard I look. mean, by, by <laughs> definitions of the consulate, hard heresy for sure. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Heresy. Hmm. How about you show us where that mushroom circle is, kind young lady? Jimmy Ooh. takes another sip of his tea. I can't seem to recall. Oh, it seemed a minute ago you were quite knowledgeable oh, of the fact. But my brain has become so fuzzy. It's so easy to forget things when you're old. Ah. Uh, and then we should best be on our way, shouldn't we? Ah. Uh, how did she know our names? I mean, she look, know my there's name. a... There's a lot of weird stuff in this in this area, right? I, I learned that the question it too much. Uh, Do you really see the future? Of course. Can you tell All me right. if my pigs are gonna be okay? Amy. I just wanna know. Here, you can't let this man decide your fate if your fate is your own. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. That is an interesting point, actually. She, like, puts a fist to her mouth as she just, like, stares at this plant. Um, Tony... Jimmy continues sipping the tea. Uh-huh. Uh, Tony... Tony will say, All right, you could see the future, right? Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna say a number in five seconds. What's the number? A test of volition? The changing of the number? There's no way that Camarilla could know this. Okay, well, the number was four, so nice try. I don't believe you. Owned. Yeah, owned. Uh, Tony holds up a hand for a high five to convert against. He, he reciprocates. Oh, so <laughs> if it doesn't work, then there's no problem, right? Of course, it's a problem. It's a trick. A, a trick how? She clearly doesn't know what she's talking about and is just trying to seduce you with heresy. Your ignorance on the matter only shows your stupidity. You only trust what is in front of your face. You don't see. You didn't even know the number was going to be the four. The number? Yeah, it was four. You could have just said four. The number is not always four. It was always four. That was the number I was going to pick. He loves the number four. I do. It's a great number. It's, it's like a right nice in the middling middle. number. Yeah, right between one and eight. It's great. Very well. It's your choice. Your choice. For what it's worth, I say go for it, Eerie. He sips his tea. She looks over with... Slightly sparkling eyes. Okay. Here's a real test. Can you tell us something that presently no one else other than us know? Who is us? All of us. You and I. This group. Hmm. Give me your hand. Hmm. Jimmy gives a subtle nodders. Continue mm. sipping tea. Hmm. Oh, I so much distrust of an old lady. You know, strangely, it's not the distrust of you. I fear that if I share my knowledge, it may just scare you more. I'm used to being scared.
She stands up. And goes to the center of the room, which has the most amount of assorted different flowers and herbs sticking out. And she grabs one in particular. And holds it out and offers it to Eerie. A tulip. Oh, fuck. She goes pale. Are you not more afraid now? How? It is within a soul. You can't hide it. I don't understand what's going on. I think Eerie's really afraid of flowers. Are you well, afraid of like, flowers? She got like allergies or something? Mm. No, it's... I... I, uh... Someone called me Tulip a long, not very long time ago. So she does know stuff. Yes, there's no way. I haven't told anyone that. So she's legitimate then? Pretty legitimate, yeah. She puts it back and stops trying to offer it to you and sits down again. Well, if you are the real deal, what would you want to do? What would I want to do? I need to see her destiny, her fate. What the cards say, where she is, where she's going. one little if... future reading isn't gonna cause any problems. Oh, I don't even have to share it with you for myself, please. Why? Well, I mean, you... if you're gonna read the future, I would... I'd want to know my own future. Mm. One, two, three. Well, then you, little boy, would you like? Jimmy looks at Eerie. Maybe I could at least just see if I'm gonna get crushed by another... Big thing. Uh, Hopefully not. Do you want me to go first, Jimmy? I I got this. Nothing bad will happen. Again. Are you sure? E Jimmy thinks on that for a second. I mean, you were literally just crippled by a dragon. I don't know if you want to risk this again. Don't. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Don't you dare hurt him. All right, little boy, come here. To me, puts his now empty cup on the table. Is there a question that you have? A future that you want to see in particular. Hmm. Something in particular. Do I have to say it to you, or do, do I just think about it real hard? Oh, you must tell me so I know how to guide the spirits. Hmm. Hmm. I have a question that I, that le Jimmy legitimately wants to ask. Don't know if it would be a good idea to ask it. You could whisper it. I'm going to whisper it to Eerie. Oh, shit. So what about something like as basic as will the voices in my head go away? Oh, that's... Interesting. I don't think they're going to, but maybe you could phrase it as, should you trust them? My question is, should I trust the voices in my head? Oh, good question. Good question. Then let us begin. 
She shuffles her deck quickly, dexterously, like her old lady fingers should not be able to, and she closes her eyes nearly in a state of meditation as it seems like she's trying to let some otherworldly force decide which card lands on top. As she soon as she closes her eyes, Copernicus is going to dip the candle that he stole into this plant to the left of him and poke it with his fire poker in an oh. attempt to set the hut on fire. <sighs> But slowly, when she's not paying attention, just so it builds and builds. <laughs> uh, slowly light someone's house on fire so that they don't notice when they're well, sitting. Okay. He's okay. trying to pick the moment that she's most distracted and so it can, <laughs> okay. it can grow to a um, point where it's actually a problem. Okay. <laughs> All right, she shuffles and shuffles and finally abruptly stops and turns over one card. Austerity, your past, dictated by wealth, fortune, consumed by it. That is where our story begins. The present. She shuffles again, closing her eyes, ignoring the flame starting to stir in the corner of her hut. Does anyone else care that there's a fire? Uh, would I don't notice? think Jimmy's even looking at the fire. Tony will, so, Tony will back at the up very one least, like Tony and Emmy behind him can definitely see what he's done. If, if you were to look at the fire, Copernicus would have the scariest face you've ever seen him make. It's like pure t determination and like just murder in his eyes. I bless and shyly look away. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jimmy would probably stop the fire, but he's not. He's watching the old lady shuffle a deck way faster than she should be able to. Yeah, Eerie probably wouldn't notice the fire if I'm being truly honest. Your Seeing second card, like, then. It. Death is in your present. The voices you hear, they trouble you deeply, don't they? They do. Very much so. But will Tony they will ever go away? Take one more step backwards. She begins shuffling once more to see Jimmy's future. And she suddenly stops. And sniffs. Burning. Is something burning? She asks without opening her eyes. Yeah, all these questions we got. Jimmy looks around. Would I have noticed the fire by just simply turning around? Yes. <laughs> Does uh, it look like Apernicus is still like stoking it or is it just like chilling there? She draws the card for the future. Fire. Fire? Fire! <laughs> if she gets up and notices it. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy will grab the pot of tea and throw it on the fire. Oh no. I welcome you into my home and you try and light it ablaze. Wait, what? What's going on? That candle must have fallen over. He's going to point at the candle that's on the floor. <laughs> but not do anything what? about it. Oh, get out of the way, Eerie. He grabs Eerie by the shoulders and starts what? moving her out of the hut. Wait, what are you- What are you still- let go of me! Get out of here! It's it's going Jimmy to try burn. stamping the fire I out. I, I grab Jimmy. Just stop. stop it! He I fights him out. I would fight. Okay, I'll let's let's fucking go then. <laughs> uh, mobility. Seeing Jimmy fight, she also wishes to fight, but she's very very uh not strong. Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> How does this work? So Jimmy definitely. He'll look to Tony. Tony, help! They're in danger. We need to get them out of the hut. Wait, just I gotta remain point. neutral on the situation. Jimmy, please. Oh, Jimmy uh, will continue okay, attempting to stamp the fire out. What? I'm what so that? confused. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at. 
So Copernicus is holding Eerie and Jimmy and trying to pull them out of the hut. Is the fire still happening or did the tea put it out? The tea <laughs> would put it out. It's not like a gigantic fire if it was in oh, like okay. a single thought... pot, one pot at oh, okay. plant. Okay, then I then I poured the tea on the on the fire. I wasn't trying to burn one plant. I was more like I trying mean, to stab the floorboards with the fire poker. I know you're trying to get it to spread, but it would be pretty hard with uh Yeah. I mean how misty the area is, how like soaked in moisture a lot of the wood would be. That it's not like Fair dry enough. kindling. One moment though. <laughs> I was making sure something else is ready in case it is needed. The Camarilla steps forward. My hospitality being taken advantage of. I did not wish I, to harm you. Any of you? I didn't do anything. Oh, it was him. Either. And you must cast him out. Call him out on what he has done to poor Camarilla. Wait, wait, Copernicus. Did you light her house on fire? A candle slipped. You see, it's a very precarious house setup. That's a fucking. That, that's still a doubt. Yeah, no, listen, I, I seen it. Yeah, yeah, they've. Uh, he, he looks at, at Copernicus and winks. He's like, yeah, I've, I've seen a couple candles slip in my day, you know, oh, an accident here. And... I also look at Copernicus, blush a little, and blink at him, attempting to wink and say, it was a candle. <laughs> I. Uh huh. Okay, then. Then I'm sure you guys have no problems with him continuing. Yeah? Yes, I do. This is heresy and you should not be doing it. Jimmy, do you have a, a... Do you feel a weight on your brain at all? Or your mind? Nope. Actually, wait. Do I feel anything different right now? You probe your mind for differences. And it seems normal. I feel perfectly normal. You're the one burning random people. And if we're being technical, we're sort of over... You're a little bit overruled here. Emmy says yes. Amy says yes. I say might as well. And Tony is neutral. Yeah, sorry, I gotta remain neutral. Tony says as he carves an apple with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so aesthetic. Hmm. Sorry. You know how it is. Jimmy. This is crossing a threshold. I want you to know. I think angering the big thing earlier was also a threshold. But yeah, sure. you're 0 for 2 today. <laughs> yeah, Eerie is very girl boss right now. I, I want to see what she has to say. It has been ruined. Your future boiled down to a fallen candle. Jimmy is now just sad. Does he still have to pay for it if it got ruined? There is no price here. A friendly conversation is all. I have sorry, seen Jimmy. what I must. And if this is how I will be treated, then you should all go. You Do you point us in the direction of that mushroom circle before we leave? She points in a direction even though she's not outside the house, and just simply says, Keep that way. You'll find it. Thanks. I'm at least going to clean up before we go. And she's going to, like, look around for a rag and, like, clean up the tea spot. Jimmy picks up the pot and puts it back. Very kind, very kind. One rotten egg spoils the bunch. So it I, seems. I, I, I'm sorry about the, the old man. I am sorry as well. He will never see the truth. Hmm. I think they're talking about you, Copernicus. Hmm. 
<laughs> Jimmy walks by and shoulders Copernicus as hard as he can. You're a child. A crippled <laughs> child. A crippled, I don't even you're, know. A tries. you're a crippled old as, man. As he hobbles by and tries to like <laughs> bump his shoulder into him. She walks Wait. by with the rag. Gently sets it down and whispers something. Can I see you again? Alone. You see me right now. Come back reading. anytime, dear. Okay. And she will set the rag and go on her way. <laughs> well, we have a direction. You should buy her rug from her. <laughs> what? It's what, red. my one wealth? Mm. Hey, lady. Good point. How much for the rug? <laughs> Your material wealth? That's nothing for me. Oh, cool. All right. Tony walks in, grabs the rug. Tony! Yes! Walks out. Tony! She what? shed her material wealth, does nothing for her. What the f- Meaning- Tony. Oh, oh well, the hell, Tony. lady. Tony, put it back. Tony! Tony's Tony's right. a nice rug. We can give it to the dragon. She doesn't need the rug. We aren't stealing like from people. Like the child that, like that Jimmy is, he will, like, hold on to Tony's leg. Like, just... Like, he just sits down and wraps himself around a leg. Since oh, when are you uh... against this, Jimmy? This is literally what you do. I steal money, not rugs. A weird line in the sand. <laughs> really? This is the hill you're going to die on, How Jimmy. About this? Rug we stealing. Red rug, and then we go back to town, get a different rug from one of the other houses, and we bring it back here to replace the red rug. I steal so very specific things. Just put it back, please. No. It could save our life. Oh, really? A rug is going to save our life. It's red. Doesn't Marilla explode like a volcano. The future on whether or not this rug saves our life. I don't oh, think she wants to help you. <laughs> she throws the door at us. <laughs> she shuts the door and goes back to what she was doing. Well, there okay, you have I mean, it. She doesn't care. We Let's go. <sighs> You guys are uh, assholes sometimes, you know that? Uh, takes one to know one. Redeemers. Oh, she scowls at that. He scowls back. Uh, okay. All right. Here, take your rug. Tony will throw it back in the house. What? Copernicus will take it. No, he's not going <laughs> to. It's out of the house. The door's closed. Copernicus is like, it's ours now. <laughs> okay, I guess. I guess we have a, r <laughs> a red rug. Jimmy just climbs Calling back on Tony's back. Of oh, leaving the rug here. Geez, really? Say hi. Hi. You don't get to vote for your own motion. Oh. All in favor of taking the life-saving rug of red. Nay. Aye. Nay. Me. I as well. That's three to two. Okay. Jimmy, jump. It is Get off of Tony's back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She, did she point that direction to the mushroom circle? Uh, she pointed up yes. north. <laughs> Listen, Jimmy, when you're older, you'll get more votes. It's like an electoral college <laughs> situation. I count for three votes because I'm big. Copernicus counts for three votes because he's old. Oh, Everybody God. else gets one. <laughs> what the hell is this? Moment. No way, beef. Ah. 
Oh, this is looking familiar. You follow a simple path up to the north, and the mist begins to fade, and you find the location you've been looking for after a while. A little bit easier than you thought it would be, honestly, after the whole detour. You arrive back at the scene, as Emmy has described it. The mushroom circle is no longer there. The nails have been removed from all of the trees, and it's more like a circular dirt patch than any sort of ritualistic circle. I know it doesn't look impressive now, but before I ate all those mushrooms, there was a whole circle of them. There were also Wait, some you... trees with like Wait, nailed uh, wealth against them. Wait, you ate mushrooms you found in the forest? Yes. How are you still alive? They're mushrooms. It was in the stew or the tea that that witch just gave to them. Ugh. So a thing that was here, that was pretty regular, like a circular of mushrooms, with coins nailed into the trees, that the Redeemer brought a pig to, to do who knows what. Well, uh, to kill it, basically. They kill the pig in the middle yes. of the mushroom circle with the wealth nailed to trees around it. Now that, you know, putting it all together like that, it almost sounds like a ritual of some kind. Yeah, I bet it does sound like a ritual, doesn't it, Emmy? Well, not anymore, because I ate all the mushrooms, and also took all the wealth off the trees, and then fed them to beef. Y you fed the coins to beef? Well, he was hungry. He eat coins? I think he eats anything. But not my pig, because I saved him. <sighs> We're the best Wait. redeemers ever, you guys. Pat ourselves on the back here. Copernicus is going to try to understand what this space could have been used for before it was dismantled. Jimmy just face palms very hard. I know you can't see your rolls, but your forensic rolls have been awful. Damn. <laughs> you can't uh, detect any specific magic about it. It obviously is what you've all determined, some sort of ritual circle, but... Can I can I do an investigation to see if anything's like out of place aside from just the Yeah. The, sir, okay. Me thinky. I no, also did some occult forensic if it helps at all, or if I didn't roll awful. Uh, first, Medium Tony looks across the area and tries to find anything out of place. He leaves no stone unturned, but all of the significant aspects of this ritual, such as the, uh, the wealth nailed to the trees and the mushrooms, have already been fiddled with and have not been fiddled with since. So any sort of investigation that you could have done is uh, skewed, and you can't really find anything more. However, mm -hmm. Eerie does sense some form of ancient, very unique magic residually within the center of the circle. It's hard for her to determine what, but she knows it's been in a long time since the last time this was used. It would line up with what the Redeemer said, that about, uh, at this point, it would be like three or four months ago. But even with all of her knowledge of occult magic, she doesn't know... I don't know how to put this. Like, if there's filth magic and occult magic, she understands, like, the basic types, she has no idea what this is, and it doesn't really fit into any of the categories. There is... strong magic here. Old magic. Right about here? I don't really know what it is or what it does, but this place was definitely used for something. Do you think that something was good or bad? If the Redeemer was doing it, it was definitely good. And very important. Oh. Maybe we could go get some more mushrooms and plant them? I'm... 
We can. <sighs> if only Is there we any can way to tell what it does? The witch lady that has a bunch of mushrooms, right? Okay, so so you said that there was coins on trees. Do you remember where? Uh, they were nailed into the trees, so there's probably a hole on the trunks where they were. Okay. Look, hear me out. What if we go back to the mushroom lady, pretend we're different people? <laughs> That's not gonna work. What? I do you know it's not gonna work. Let's, let's hear him out. Let's try. Hold on. No, let's do the coins first. Nail them in, and then. Then I'll handle it. Okay, um, she, she, she gonna handle it. Copernicus, can you roll a... I'll do it. I'll make you do it. Do you want to do it? What? <laughs> I what? Do, do you want to roll a hearsay about the coins? You know about coins. I do know about coins. I'd love to. <laughs> this guy knows about coins. This guy loves coins. And he knows that it is an old... Old people love this trick. Uh, sort okay. of... Uh, humanitarian consulate level superstition that areas of dark magic or particularly potent magic that they don't know how to fully get rid of they find within this superstition that it is a good idea to uh place wealth around it to contain it sort of like the way you would imagine the uh I forget what they're called, like the Japanese talismans to like bind mm -hmm. something yeah. to a specific spot. Uh, it's, it's mm. tags. Yeah, spirit tags or whatever. Yeah, so the spirit tags have been removed. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna go to Emmy and be like, I'm familiar with these coins used to decorate the perimeter. It's imperative we put them back. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, sir, you can have mine. I'll give can you show me exactly where you lost them? Uh, no, but I can show you the trees, and if you see a hole, that's probably where they were. Very well. Do you have the coins with you? Yeah, I have a, I have half the coins, but I think I have enough, right? Uh, you I have grabbed... three of them. You'll need seven to put them all back. Okay, I have eleven wealth, so I can just spare the extra four, I believe. Uh, I'll walk around with the with Copernicus, and um, if he wants to, I'll help him nail in some coins to the trees where they were. Yes, he will do that. Okay, so it's minus seven. How do I get rid of my wealth? Uh, I got I you. Give item to the tree. <laughs> yes. Yuri, while well. she's seeing that they are like very dedicated to this task, she'll try to like gently grab Jimmy by the arm and just start going back to Camarilla's place. Was yeah, I saying anything? She said that she was going to handle it. Taking Jimmy too. What does Tony do about that? Uh, Tony doesn't know where they're going. Where, where are you two going to, huh? Said I'm going to handle it. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Don't go too far. I won't, and I'd like to talk to you sometime, actually. Yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Hmm? Yeah, he'll... He'll walk over to them. You still ain't going to that mushroom lady, is you? Didn't, didn't you say that we were trying to go to the mushroom lady? Or the mushrooms? Wait, what? But we pretend we're different people? No, I'm, I'm gonna do my plan. Well, what's your plan? Be nice. Lishin, I would stop you, but I gotta remain neutral here. Why, why would you try and stop? It's... I literally said I would handle it. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I already committed to not trusting the mushroom lady, and if I went back on it, I wouldn't be very neutral. All right, fine. Go for it. Um, okay. I guess. But still, though, I want to chat with you later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Jimmy was muted, but I'm sure he said bye. I said all I all I contributed was I don't know where we're going and okay bye. <laughs> Apparently I did squad stealth too. Yeah, I, I did that because I'm assuming you don't want Copernicus and Emmy to notice that you've left. Or do you not care? It would be ideal, but she's not she's trying to not look suspicious, if that makes sense. 
I would go ahead and hit that anyway. Is Copernicus looking for it, or does he care that they've wandered into the woods? Um, I mean, he... he's gonna... He's focused on getting these coins back up, however long that's gonna take. Okay. I will help him nail them to the tree. And you go around, and you start nailing things to trees, while Emmy and Jimmy go back to Mushroom Lady. <laughs> Mushroom Lady! Yay! Mushroom Lady! <laughs> she was so nice! Can we have a scene of us realizing that they're gone? Sure. Okay. Um, after finishing with the coins, uh, Copernicus would go to Tony. Where are the other two? Uh, what do you mean? Well, it's just you here. Where's Erie and Jimmy? Oh, they said they was uh, going. She said she was going to handle it. Handle what? And I don't know it. Whatever she, whatever the problem was. Did she say where they were going? Uh. uh yes. And that is where. Uh. Do you really want to know? Yes. Sure. She said she was going to go to Mushroom Lady. Ah, uh, yes, I suspected as much. Oh, good. Okay, then I'm not in trouble. Well, I'll be honest, I wouldn't have expected you to get involved. Hey, hey, I didn't get involved. I didn't do nothing. I know, very like you. Look. Yeah, what, are you surprised? I'm not. The point is, I feel I can trust you too, but... I have my suspicions of Eerie and Jimmy, unfortunately. Yeah. Jimmy's getting wrapped up in Eerie's story, and I don't believe he should. He's a boy, despite him being a despite shitty boy. Him, yeah. Well, look, 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 look. I don't know. I trust you too, Copernicus. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Sometimes she says things that make me wonder a little bit. But for the most part, she's fine. Thanks. I think. Look. But uh, look. All right. So what do we do? I mean, uh, wait. What if we? What if we go in and spy on them? When and skin them alive and defecate no, upon them. No, we're not doing that. All right, right. We're not doing that. All right. I won't interject again. We'll call out Plan B. I also had some suspicions that I believe may in fact be true. Uh, which are? Well, to begin with, Eerie has been dabbling in occultism. Duh. Oh, uh, uh, duh. Uh, you I, I you mean, both knew this. I mean, you know where she came from. She came with... She came from a big building with skulls everywhere. You you didn't think she was in occult occult rituals or nothing? I I thought she was a nice young girl that used a bow. I mean, <laughs> you know she works with the lady who lives in a building filled with giant skulls and like I mean, you know, respectfully, maybe she was just learning how to avoid it. But I I now firmly believe she's leaning into it. Okay, yeah, all right. No, I I understand I'm with you. The other piece of evidence... Uh-huh. Oh, I can't wait for this one. I believe she has been messing with all of our collective memory. Well, no, Eerie, come what? on. No way. It's true. What makes you think that? There are times I don't remember conversations and things don't quite line up. I have yeah, also been... Yeah, sometimes after I spend a lot of time at the tavern, that happens to me too. Right, but this... This is different. This is, we're walking somewhere and suddenly the situation changes and everyone seems to ignore it. Furthermore, Seymour has spoken to me and told me as much. I didn't believe him at first because why would I, but... Yeah, right. The more I've watched them, the clearer it's become that they're in cahoots. Hmm... Okay, so what do we do about it? I've been trying to rack my head. I, d I have another admission. It was I that set fire to that plant in the witch's hut. 
Does Does Tony know that? Did Tony see him do this? It would have been hard for you not to, looking in the door, and he was standing right in front of you. Uh, he'll play along. Oh, whoa, that was you? Whoa. You wow. lied? I'm not playing along, I really thought. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It was an attempt to save them from themselves. I regret lying, but it was for their own good. Oh, I understand, man. Sometimes, you know, you got to do something that may be against your moral code for the good of others, right? Exactly. So, so uh, all right. So here's my I'm thought. i to save them from that witch. Yeah, we got to go save them from that witch before uh, either A... They get cursed, or B, something else burns down. Mm, something's getting burned one way or another. Yeah, I kind of figured you'd say that. All right, let's go. Okay. So you're you're with me on this, then? I I wouldn't have assumed, especially you, Tony. I know you like to play middle ground here. Look, I didn't commit to nothing. I just said we gotta go see what they're up to. Very well. I mean, look, 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 look. Here's, you want my honest, my honest plan? I got a plan here. All right. Okay. So, I trust you, but honestly, I don't know why, but I do kind of trust Eerie too. So, how about we go spy on them, okay? See what they're doing in the hut. If they're in trouble, we go save them. If nothing bad happens, then it's fine. You want to wait till they are lost to whatever sorcery that witch is going to cast on them? Well, I mean, in that case, uh, we have a talk with her. You know, maybe something bad happens to her. I don't, I don't want to make any assumptions on what's going to happen to the witch, but, uh, you know. Let's just say you cut something off at the source. Don't have to worry about it no more. Who are we cutting? I pull out my sword. <laughs> well, we I'm don't know yet. Bitch. Okay. Probably. Yeah, I like how probably. Emmy is more of a child than Jimmy. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> Emmy's a Emmy's just a treat. It's decided then. It is decided then. We will listen and watch, and then make a later decision on whether make or not to move. kill. Yes. All, All right. right. All right. We'll, uh, we'll go back towards the tree in South Hat. Or the tree hut. You will join their conversation a few minutes in as you follow close behind. I'll let you know when. Hey. Nice. Um. Okay. Eerie and Jimmy together uh, hobble through the woods with his recent dragon sustained injuries. Don't know where those came from. He didn't deserve it. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. And return Volcanoes back to the, and nature. the bird nest home of Camarilla. Or Rilla. Or Cammy. Okay. It'll be knock, fine. Knock, we don't, knock, knock. We don't have to deal with them ruining anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, sure don't. Oh, didn't expect you so soon. Hey, Come in. Well. Where are all the others? Uh, they're not with us. They're <gasps> working on the fairy circle. Look, look, there's um. The what? I... The what? <laughs> the the what? <laughs> you dude. Uh, wait, am I not allowed to know what a ring of mushrooms means? I mean, I guess so. Making sure. I I, I, I didn't <laughs> know what else. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. fair to call it that, but just making sure. Okay, because because that, 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 that's 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 the whole like you know a ring of mushrooms is that's what it means. Like, look it up. It's a really cool folklore. Yeah, anyway, it's a thing. I thought it meant dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it does, if it helps you. Um, anyway. 
Okay, so there was a ring of mushrooms in the forest, which you directed us to oh, right before that. Um, look. Yes. My friends are assholes sometimes, but they mean well. I just don't think they understand, my I guess. My mind has been warped. Hmm? He believes wealth is the most important thing, and he listens to those who have it. I can't blame him for being misguided. I... I don't either. It's the same kind of people that... She bites her lip. Anyway, I... The mushrooms are torn apart and gone. Do you know of a way that we could... fix it? Is there a way to fix it? Oh, of course. But why would you need them? The mushrooms are gone. Eaten. What are the circle? What do you need of the circle? I we don't, I don't know. We don't even know what it does, actually. Oh, tampering with such ancient magic is dangerous. Not even I would go there. <sighs> oh, no. Hypothetically, if someone tore off all of the gold and ate all of the mushrooms, what would happen? Mm, I'm not certain. It, on one hand, may not be usable at all anymore. Perhaps a boon, but perhaps not. Perhaps its energies go elsewhere. <sighs> Is there no way to repair it? It would take time, care, to regrow it properly. What would I need to do? Oh, well, I may be convinced to help you tend to it. I'm not sure <laughs> that I would trust an amateur. Ah, uh, that's fair. I'm only, I'm still learning. These are things of nature, and how do you feel about nature? I don't really know about nature. Ah, you admit your ignorance. There is good step. Jimmy looks like he's about to ask a very stupid question, but stops himself. She, like, gently pats him on the shoulder. <laughs> Go on. Are volcanoes nature? What? <laughs> oh. Uh, he got into an argument with someone recently. Yeah, yeah the, per the person that did this to me uh, didn't think volcanoes were nature, so I just needed to confirm that they were nature. That's all. Some would argue they are a brimstone, others petrichor. The myths are a little unclear, to be honest. Hmm. That's all I had to add. Ah, uh, I didn't know anything about that. Thanks for asking, Jimmy. A good question, yes, good. Well, what is it you wanted to speak to me about before you left? Before you even knew of the mushrooms? I... Now please sit down, make yourselves at home. Hmm. I know I don't really have much time, but... I mean, who knows how long it'll take for them to nail those into the trees. I don't even know how many coins that they needed, actually. Um, I guess just... I don't really have many people I can talk about the occult in general. Scarlet is... Uh, apprehensive? They have arrived. <laughs> Alert. I know I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. No, it's alright, it's alright. They're here. I, and I know I want to get a reading as well. It's just, there's probably not enough time right now. Whatever it is you've been taught is probably foolish. <laughs> Converted like Copernicus, his mind warped by what humanity serves in their dishes. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. A lot of people are very, I mean, even me, I guess, are 
blinded by their own experiences, perceptions. You I try are, to. You were taught from a young age to fear nature, but I live out here alone in it, and many thrive on it. The hypocrisy to need nature, to be of nature, and to reject it. The primal blood that flows through a soul. I wouldn't say that I'd fear nature, although I understand that it's causing a lot of... She, like, makes, like, a weird, like, hand gesture. Problems. For everyone, really. Is that better? But, I mean, if I'm honest, anything, everything can be that if you don't understand it or don't, um... Learn proper precautions. Indeed. It's like trying to use a sword when you have no training. You're supposed to start with a dulled one, or else you might cut your friends or yourself or kill someone. You only fear a sword if you've seen what it can do, but it can do so much more. What questions have you? What specifics? Mm. Am I safe? Safe? Safe from who and what? Fear racks your mind with uh, every question and every word. I, I guess... A lot of people. <laughs> Where I grew up, I... Young Yeri, are you on the run? Yeri isn't on the run, no. I see. Did you know where it was you were running to? I just wanted to be somewhere where I could be. So then it is a coincidence that your friend hears voices. You didn't seek the voices. No, actually. I just wanted some peace. I wanted to be in a place where I could have friends. I wouldn't just try and kill me or use me. Oh, poor dear. Your problem always was then that you went to cities. You went to towns and you sought people. The only kind that you knew. Eden was supposed to be different. <laughs> oh, Eden is not wrong. different. There are friends there, but many not. Yeah, Eden is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I, I heard someone make a funny joke. <laughs> oh, wait, actually? No. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> My parents said it was safe. You trust those that know not much? My apologies, but your family? How would they know the truth? I... I don't think that they really needed to. I mean, at the very least, they were looking out for me. They loved me. They cared about me. They didn't want to use me. And that's all I needed. I would not use you. Those of my kind do not use you, for we don't need you. These people here, they need you because you have power that they do not have. Mm. I don't even think that these people, she says with finger quotations, actually need me at all. Yes. I'm pretty sure they'd be content without me around. I have but... seen it. They throw the traditions of sideways aside. They side with wealth. They don't know their choices. But a great choice is coming. What do you mean? I know... Vaguely of your exploits, traveling, 
that it is time for you to choose sides. You look for help from soldiers and warriors. The consulate, perhaps, even. Is this not true? Hmm. I don't really want help from the consulate. Ah, uh, but there are those among you with a loud voice that do. I know. And... Like I said, he's not a bad person. It's just... He I denies can't. what is in front of him, and so do you. A town founded on death? It's not even true. A town founded upon nature. And now you deny it all. Okay, now you lost me. Um... Is there not a shrine, a large tree of worship? Oh, there is, isn't there? Yes, yes, that is the one. This predates your town. So why is it that you would choose people to inherit the town and not nature? Ah... Uh... Probably because I am people. Can, so are my friends and the people I care about? She gestures around her home. Can people and nature not coexist together? I... I'm starting to get where you're sort of leaning into this. You're a combination of both, aren't you? <laughs> no, no. I am but a person. Who knows how to listen to the winds? Hmm. I... Look, I'm pretty open to a lot of things, but I don't... I will be honest when I say that I don't know everything. It's very well possible not even you do. It's why I have to open my ear to many different people and hope that I can get a better, clearer picture of myself. Hmm. But what matters is Jimmy. What do you think? What do your voices think? Do they deny it? Jimmy? Jimmy? Are you a little muted, Jimmy? He actually passed out from the pain of the oh, broken no. bone sticking out of his leg. No, Jimmy! He might be idle. I, something just came up real quick. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. Do you need a second? No, it's just I missed the last 20 seconds because I had to go grab something real quick. Oh, um, she okay. asked, she said, your opinion matters more. What do you think about basically nature inheriting your town and what your voices think? Okay. Um, I don't know what my voice would think. Actually, I do kind of. Um, I don't. I don't really care about people. Not really. Do you care about yourself? Oh yeah. I do care about people a little bit. Okay. Hold on, let me, let me ask my voice. <laughs> hey, how do we feel about nature? I just want to get your honest opinion on it. You hear the mumbled echoes of death, but you can't hear his voice. Voice is very indifferent right now. Huh. That's weird for him. Hmm, curious, curious, he hides. Hide. And it, if we're able to hear from in, like, outside the hut, which I'm assuming we got close enough to hear, could Copernicus also try to reach Seymour? Sure. 
Did, does he hear the similar, like, mumblings, or...? What? What do you want? Uh, he's gonna think... Are you aware what's going on in there? Yeah, it's a little blurry, um... I don't know, maybe I need my nappy time. You... You can't... See them? In there? In that hut? What hut? They're talking with some sort of hag. Oh. Well, is she friendly? She claims to be, but yes, I have Yes, I can see doubt. the fucking hag! Well then, what do you think? Or what, what do you, why are you not uh, getting involved? It's definitely a bad thing for someone like myself to get involved in human affairs. Isn't that like all you do with us is get involved in our affairs? I don't think that I should be involved in any of this. This is all very silly. Does Tony does Tony hear him say any of this? Uh, he was talking to Copernicus because Copernicus asked. Oh, okay, okay. I was just wondering if like when he talks to us in this sort of situation, if we can all hear it or just he, one of he us. can choose individuals. He'll usually okay. choose the group, but okay. when someone specifically requests him, mm -hmm. then he's only talking to them. Oh, how polite. Yep. So you don't want to be involved with this. She's hey. saying a lot of weird shit. And... Yes. I'm definitely super powerful and understand it all. Were you just not paying attention? Mm hmm What? Uh, you good, Death? Copernicus, I don't understand. What do you want? She's asking if they would be opposed to nature taking over sideways. What? That's preposterous! Well, yeah, why would... So you're not paying attention? I'm trying to, but my brain hurts. Okay. It's all just in circles and circles, and they're talking about something about a plant and a tree. I think you should probably kill her. I'm seriously considering it. Hmm, you're seeing things my way, then. Quiet now, let's continue this. All right, all right, I'll try and not fall asleep. Bloop. Yep. I can't hear it. Huh. Very strange. Okay, so if you know a lot of things, and you know about voices and heads, do you know if it is possible to only have one? Only one voice? You know, for our friend occupying mutual minds and such. Oh, I do not know the particulars of this type of magic. Very dangerous. And very hard to decipher. Perhaps he hears himself. He hears himself multiple times. There are many of him, who knows? Uh... Not exactly what I'm asking. I don't think that's me. Well, I can only trust what he says he hears, and not what is really there. Oh. She, like, leans back in her chair as she, like, has, like, a sudden realization, putting her hand on her chin. Oh, she doesn't know. Jimmy just looks confused. Okay, so... You said you'd be willing to take care of the mushroom patch? You never quite did say exactly what it was needed for. Uh, there's a mushroom... There was a mushroom patch in the forest in that one fairy ring spot. But all the mushrooms are gone. I don't really know how to maintain it as you had described. Or regrow it, I guess. You seem to know what you were doing or implied such. Uh, she leans back, rubbing her chiseled chin, thinking for a moment of how to reply to this. And she definitely knows more than she wants to say. Mm -hmm. But it is, uh, 
even for how forward she seems to be with information, this is a delicate area she doesn't seem to want to immediately jump into. Mm, unless it is of vital importance. And perhaps you let these things just fade away. She quirks an eyebrow at that. Are you hiding something? I'm not sure Weird. what I hide. The magic is unpredictable, dangerous. I have heard it is not to be tampered with by those I trust. What magic is it? I couldn't say myself. I've been around a lot of liars. I know that in some way it has to do with contacting those above. And those above? The great ones, the gods, the glowing lights. Occasionally those below, the smaller fragmented. It's a communication device? Yes, but the communication is very dangerous. You would certainly need to know what you're doing when speaking with them. Hmm. Do you know if it can be repaired? I'm sure that it can. But the ritual to activate it to really make use of it is uh, complex would require research, understanding. You would not want to get this wrong. The consequences. I may advise, it may be even easier if you were to find another circle. Why? Perhaps one that is more complete. The room for error, smaller. Ah, uh, because this one's already broken, or because it was already incomplete? Oh, it was definitely working before you all came along. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Of course, of course. About that reading, are you still uh, interested? Not right now. But later, I mean, who knows how much time I have left anyway. Are you satisfied, Jimmy? Or do you have other questions? You're not talking. I was kind of hoping to know my future. That's all. Aww. I'm still sad Copernicus ruined it. Copernicus is going to motion for Tony and Emmy to come over by his side. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you said it was ruined? His fate, the most immediate of fates, was already seen. You can't do these things over and over again. Dangerous. Ah, uh, that... Yeah, that really fucking sucks. Before you go, I have one last thing. Just a thought. Hmm? Something to consider. Okay. When you choose your next protector of your town, try not to fight the golem, perhaps. Perhaps it can be your protector. Huh. You hey. know, I hadn't thought of that. All right. Thank you for the advice. Of course, of course. And, uh, be seeing you. Thanks again. <laughs> oh, bye, lovely children. Okay, so we should go back to the circle and let them know what we found. Yeah, we should go to the circle. Oh, wait, no, it was up. That's right. 
The kids wander back into the woods as um, <laughs> Copernicus organizes a SWAT team maneuver. You're muted. Oh. Because what's the plan? All right. Are we going to burn this shit down or what? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, look, she didn't do nothing. You heard her. She wants sideways to be given back to nature, away from humans. No. I'm human. I don't want nature to take my town. How do we know that this portal that she's trying to get us to fuck with is not going to bring forth nature spirit or something? And if it does, I'll stab it and that'll be the end of it. Or you stab her and it's the end of it too. Mm, Tony raises his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, I didn't pay you for that kind of guy. Look, I know heresy when I see it and this is fucking heresy. Oh no. <laughs> The other two I'm undecided on, but this one. There is no redemption. Only through fire. <laughs> nah, I can't commit that hard either way. You can do it. I'm not going to burn down this witch's house. Tony will head back to the circle. What do you think, Emmy? I don't usually, but you seem pretty passionate about it. So if you want to burn her house, then I'll help. Very well. You should barricade her door. Okay. Oh my God. Jeez. Oh <laughs> my fucking God. <laughs> She uh, told us not to use it! <laughs> How big are these rocks? <laughs> They're massive. You would not be able to move them. Okay. Well, I'm pretty fucking buff, so I could just try to hold the door closed. So I will hold the door. Yeah, there are windows, but they're pretty much covered up by twigs and rocks, and it would be very hard for her to, like, squeeze out of one. Uh, Copernicus is gonna use his fire poker and set fire to the kindling around the house and this time <laughs> go from one spot to another to make sure it burns evenly. Uh, oh, no. Uh, one moment. Pain. One moment. Do I roll like muscle or something to hold a door or anything? I uh, you can do that. Would, would we be able to use like this big log or something to put up against it? Um, I think at that point she would hear people moving logs around her house if you wanted to do it. Okay. Oh yeah. my <laughs> god, I don't think she's gonna beat that. Oh, uh, where is my fire? I had it last Air session. Fire. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh no. Fuck. This is so fucked up. Copernicus goes around and in between each boulder finds the kindling that she has decided to live inside of and makes sure to light a flame on each one. The smoke enters through her slightly open windows as you can hear the panic sounds of an old lady running around the room and pounding on the door to try and get out. What is this? Why would you do this? What? Let it's me like out! Like put a hand on Emmy's shoulder and kind of nod approvingly. I blast and keep the door closed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you fools! Why would you do this to an old lady? Don't let her bewitch you. You are My doing friend the right says thing. you're evil. Uh, please die quietly. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Man, fucking 
anything Jimmy does from this point on will never be able to match Copernicus. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm thinking there's a couple of things that could happen here, but I'm thinking if they should. Uh, I think I think I leave it to a chance. Um, I've I've played in some legitimately evil campaigns, and I don't even think we've done anything like this. Oh God! I'm rolling a D100 on a on a 20 or less. Something is gonna happen. Fanatical well, belief is crazy. Oh no! The cat. <laughs> The console it is the bad guys. Wait, a twenty or less? Yeah, that was a fifteen. That is a twenty percent chance, and the thing happened. Oh boy. Okay. Oh pog. Um. Before this starts, I need to determine how far away everyone is and how long it took oh. you to set up this blaze. Um. Yikers. I say it is one turn away for Tony and two turns away for Eerie and Jimmy. Through the woods. Ah. <laughs> so, so. so. Uh-huh. This might seem kind of random, but uh, it's not. Through the woods, coming from the south, first you see a gigantic sort of pug-looking wolf run through oh. the forest towards the fire to protect Camarilla. And closely behind it, more and more start pouring out from the forest. Uh, we've got an initiative on our hands. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, no. This is the worst case scenario. I don't know what Eerie's gonna do. Fuck. <laughs> There's a lot of dogs. <laughs> There's a lot of dogs. Oh my god. You're, you're having oh. AoE hold the door. <laughs> and I know oh. things that I can't talk about either, so this is... It, it's worse than it seems. That is, that's all I'm saying. It's oh, they all have... Oh, man. Combat this ends. We won. 79 HP? What the fuck? That's just, uh, that's the alpha. The alpha's oh. got the 79 HP. Oh, uh, okay. The rest of them got 15, but that's still a lot of meat. Oh, God. Well, anyway, have fun with this, Copernicus. Oh, snap. <laughs> are we, okay, for, for like Jimmy and Eerie, are we aware of what's happening? Like, do, do we know our friends are in trouble? Do we see fire? What, are we just like chilling in the forest? Are we just happy-go-lucky walking towards the mushroom patch? You are currently happy-go-lucky. Okay, nice. we are currently happy-go-lucky. Got it. Uh, good we luck, will... boys. Good luck, boys. Uh, looking for my declare button. Oh my gosh. I have declared for all of them because there are a lot of them. Most of them are going to be saying any target because they're slightly out of range with a move of seven for most of them. Uh, Copernicus will be the first act for the group. Medium Tony would be third. Uh, Camarilla is mostly dying. And in the event that Jimmy and Eerie hear about what's happening, they will have the opportunity to start walking back to aid the group. Yeah, that's a big if. I don't think my hearsay rolls are good. What would we roll to see if we even hear anything? I think it's a wait until the DM gives us a prompt situation. Okay. Yeah, definitely for the time being to see how the first parts of this go. Is there so, a way to measure out the movement to see where move seven would get most of them? Or like um, the closest one here, move seven would get it like halfway to you. Seems like it'll take him about about two turns to reach us. So you've just noticed this giant pack of wolves covered in moss jumping from the forest to aid the nature lady. 
Okay. Uh, Copernicus is, he, he will like say to Emmy, nature rises to defend the hag. I will hold them off long enough. Okay. I think it's super romantic. Oh my gosh, I'm like blessed. <laughs> He's gonna stand like with his back to this rock and I think guard. Uh, start building up armor. That is all? Yeah, I think that's all I can do. Um, so I can't do like a, you know, preemptive attack, anything like that. I don't think I have any ranged. Emmy. Okay. Uh, so she's pounding on the door. Is there like a is there like a handle? I guess I guess what I'm asking is, could I use my farmer's pike? Could I stick that through the handle and wedge it so the door is still closed? So then then I could like go. Uh, help it's kind. It doesn't really have a handle because it's mostly made of like wood and thatch and held together. It's not, you know, like, there's not a metal handle with a lock on it. It's, it's a random witch cabin in the woods. I suppose I will continue to hold it until something comes close and I gotta let go to attack it. Okay. Um, then no one has yelled for help. Oh, I would... I, I thought he could see the, like, the flames and stuff. <laughs> I mean, if they Whoops. could easily see the flames through the mist that was here while they're traveling through the dense forest then they would have already come back to save you or like stop you oh, in shit. the first place so they do not see and I'll allow medium Tony an opportunity to investigate to to notice something because he would still be close enough having just left and didn't I forget did he uh he heard the plan right uh yes uh, he knows what yeah, the plan I mean, is yeah I knew what we were gonna do well, then I guess even if you you wouldn't suspect anything was wrong. Because if you saw flames and smoke, you'd be like, ah, well, they're doing it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought the wolves had ran past the party like when to like attack us. Oh, uh, no, they came from the south and the party went north. OK, OK. Yeah, Copernicus would have yelled then, <laughs> but oh, well. Um, I'll still let the same and investigate check for Tony if you want it to have yelled. Yeah, that's fair. There was confusion. I would not have thought to yell. But if Copernicus yelled, then... He would have done, like, a battle cry of, like, basically the same thing he told to Emmy, but, like, yelling it, um, in challenge of the wolves and, you know, for anyone that would have heard. Uh, Tony, just roll investigate. Okay. Can I roll lockpicking instead? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, roll lockpicking. I think I'm just going to leave it up to you. I mean, you kind of have the meta knowledge, but you're hearing your party scream a battle cry as they light this witch's house on fire. So who's to say if that's a battle cry of defending themselves, it's more likely that they're killing someone and they're happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Tony will... Tony will like rub his temples and be like, uh, all right, I better go check on him. He'll turn around and go back. Um, okay. That's all you get for now. Jimmy and Erie currently out of the question. I continue blindly walking towards the circle that has all of our friends and they totally aren't burning the witch that we just talked to. Um, actually, Cliff Wolf Alpha has declared to use Dread Cry. He's going to do that instead of move. Allies within four tiles are healed and gain one max action. Oh, oh no. Oh. 
And then each of these are going to run forward seven tiles. Oh dear. That's a that's a that's a powerful move. Oh god. <laughs> How long is the max action? Uh, until the end of combat. Oh, oh. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're either gonna need to kill that alpha immediately or instant kill all these dogs before they can fuck us up. It's gonna be hard for you to hold the door and do that. Oh. Yeah, I'm determining I might have to open the door. Or at least let it go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Camarilla continues dying. In fact, I am going to put burn on her. Understandable. Yeah, I feel like she's. Have a nice I feel like she's earned it. She gets twelve burn for being inside of the burning uh, her own home. And it's Copernicus's turn once more as the wolves close in. Uh, I will also because I declare them all at once rather than individually, point out that uh, whenever these wolves take damage, they deal damage to anything near them. Oh, boy. Oh. Including themselves? Uh, no, because that's an infinite loop and map tools crashes. Okay. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Should we run? <laughs> Um, I, Copernicus is going to try to contact Seymour. Oh, what is it? Are you not seeing what we're doing here right now? No, oh, no, we're all going to die. Oh, no. I am burning this witch. Yeah, it's kind of metal. Are you not entertained? This is very entertaining. Then help me deal with these doggies. What? <laughs> Your bargain is that it'll be... It's interesting, so I have to help you. You want me to kill more witches? Help me kill <laughs> no, the doggies no, so you... I don't fucking die. You have not understood my motivations from the beginning, Copernicus. I want you to die. Isn't that obvious when I told you to kill yourself? You're not very helpful at all. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? What will you give me in return? Besides a charred witch corpse? I'm not interested. Fine, I'll get out of this myself. Oh, you still won't even buckle and kill a serpent for old deathy, old Seymour butts. Mmm, <laughs> no. Alright, call me when they're eating your bones. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to go towards them. Um... I think next turn she takes enough burn that she dies. No, she'll have one health. She has 12 burn, so... Yeah. She needs to burn for at least well, she three turns. And it is 1d12 damage. It's not always 12. Oh, so she just rolled well. Okay. Um, um, actually, she didn't take it that turn, so I'm going to trigger it on her because she should take it. <laughs> Two. Oh. <laughs> not great. <laughs> um, I think uh, Copernicus would tell Emmy to get next to him in the hopes of fighting at least like to make even less room for them to dogpile because I don't think we can outrun them they have seven move and we've got four so it's Looks gonna have true. to be a all right it's gonna have to be a fight I have a lot of healing but I don't know if we will survive enough rounds for me to use it <laughs> Um, we'll see if I can. Oh, well, oof, I don't know. It's gonna look tough. I guess we'll see if the if the hound master creature keeps healing them, then we might have to run. But if I can cleave a couple of them, then we might be able to knock them out. 
Yeah, okay. So he's gonna like can I drag Emmy or like I mean she's just hard holding the door, but I was just gonna move her here and then guard again. Hey Emmy, hold the door. Uh hold the you door. hold by the door. You cannot do that. Okay. Then I will Yeah, I'll just guard. Oh, it's on cooldown. I guess I can't do anything. <laughs> he, he's gonna yell, Tony. We could use uh, a little help. Does he hear that? Yeah. Oops. How uh, loud does he shout that? As loud as he can. Would Erie and Jimmy hear that? Uh. <laughs> Old, 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 old Caperni screaming it is, it is for his misty. life. And mist, you know, sound travels better in the mist. You you guys oh, would hear does it. Does it actually? Yes. It, it does. Oh. It, it kind of echoes a bit off of it. So yeah, the you guys would I hear learned. like the faint screams of Copernicus begging for assistance. What the? Was that Copernicus? Wait, but weren't they at the circle? That's behind us. Oh, don't worry about them. What? There's nothing what? weird going on. And only Eerie hears that. Okay. Why does that... Uh, why did the voice sound like it was coming from behind us? Did what they... Mean, nothing weird is going on. No, and, you know, just... You should definitely get back to that circle. You know, this very dangerous old magic I think or something like Heather, that. Are you hiding something? I would never hide anything. So then there's no trouble if I start walking this way. Oh, no trouble at all. Nothing matters to me. I'm okay. death. It doesn't, you know, doesn't okay, matter I'm to walking. me. You do whatever you want. Way. I'm walking this way then. <laughs> so I assume we would be a turn out from actually being here. Yeah. Uh, you guys can't okay. move yet. Currently, I'm um, ending Copernicus. Start, uh, his turn is over. Emmy's turn. Okay. Can you move us to where our tokens should be? Yeah, I'll handle you guys when you're relevant. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I think will, Copernicus missed me over. I will, I will hobble slightly faster in the direction of Copernicus. I will release the door. I will come over to Copernicus and ready my... Do you have wolf. to release the door? I assume I do if I gotta walk away. Or I guess I'm still next to it. I could keep yeah, the you door can still hold and it just from like there. saddle close to you. Sure, I'll, I'll come next to you then. And I'm gonna pull out my will look to you and say, blade. We're doing the right thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's all? Yep, I'm good. Tony can come back and be this far at the start of his turn. If you have any other actions you want to take at this distance. Uh, so he comes in and sees Actually, the house on fire and a bunch of dogs. Yeah. What a scene. <laughs> oh, God. Did you do this? Obviously, yes. <laughs> oh, God. A little help, Tony. Apologize. Put out the fire and apologize. It's a little late for that. Never too late to apologize. Tony sits down on the ground. Seeing that Tony's not going to be <laughs> persuaded, he looks... He's going to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Into the house. <laughs> as, she, as she's it's screaming on hold fire. The door. <laughs> And he looks back to Tony. There, I did it. Now please save my life. Uh, uh, Tony gets it. What's my movement right now? Five. All right, Tony can go one, two, three, four, five. It's about the farthest he can go. It's right there. I think that's all I can do. So it is decided. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, Jimmy and Erie will both require one more turn to appear. Oh, but you album. still may, as you suspect there is danger, uh, if you have any other actions like buffs or things like that that matter for you. All of my buffs would require... Well, actually... 
I can actually give, um, I can use my command ability. Could that maybe bump Eerie up a movement turn and be able to move this turn? Yeah. Then I'll do Ooh. that. Super speed! Jimmy gives Eerie so much motivation. You got this! Run! Someone believes in me. <laughs> then Eerie will sprint towards the battlefield and end here. You can make no further movement this turn, though. And her jaw is fucking dropped. <laughs> The power of wealth. Uh, did you actually cast it? I think you have to physically cast it. Yeah. I I got you. Yeah, you might be just have something distracting. See, it does calculate it correctly, but the description is wrong. Oh well, you're here. Does that mean she can do, like, use her bow and stuff? Um, if she can target them with the bow this turn, but you can't make any more movement this turn solely because of the... Not because of the command, but because of you were two turns delayed. Mm hmm Harry! We can talk about this later, later, but for now, can you save our hide? Why are you holding the door, Emmy? I'm killing the witch! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, the fire is killing her technically, but I'm holding the door closed. You did this behind her. You would do this to anyone, wouldn't you? It's for your own good. I'm sure that's what you would say. It is what I'm saying. <laughs> she is having an internal conflict. Emmy, if we're friends, let go of the door. Okay, well, we're our, we are friends. I will let go of the door. She makes a long nod. She lets go of the door and immediately pops open as, whoop, the move the whole home. This Camarilla has been pounding on it this whole time and falls to the floor, stumbling on the ground, squirming around in flames. Screeching. She's a screecher. What have you done? She said to open the door. She goes as far as she can. I don't think you can move anymore this turn, can you? Oh, wait, I can't? No. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Uh, fuck, I was, what, here? Sorry for what? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, I can't do anything else my turn, right? Or can uh, I use if, uh, action If your to bow can reach, and I'm not sure that it can... Uh, might as well check. I mean, if anything can reach them, you can use it. Why do I only have my... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, no, it doesn't reach. And But she will scream out, Camarilla! She is currently busy peeing on fire. Yeah, I know. That is all? That is all. The Cliff Wolf Alpha moves forward. He is a little bit slower than everyone else. And then one by one, jumping up on top of the rock to bite Copernicus. Damn it. <laughs> they, are, they are very agile. Their seven move is not just uh, for fun. Uh, one moment, because I changed how all weapons work, and apparently... They don't like that. Be right back again. Uh, and this one has an additional action. A second hit missing. Ooh. Seven. Target camera. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I... Because she's a, for some reason, she's a player character. I have to re-declare the rest of these. I don't know why she was a player character. Target. Good old Copernicus. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. There's this one. 
target Copernicus has two actions. Oh God. are bitey. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> so many. How about that cleave of yours? <laughs> well, this would be a good opportunity to use it. Yep. Oh, that one never moved at all. There is one more. The Camarilla continues burning. Um. Thinking if she would help at all while being on fire. Do I help the people who burnt me? No, I mean help the dogs. Oh, if oh, she sad. has the state of mind while on fire and all of that, um, I think she may start helping, but not until next turn. Yeah, that's why I didn't want her to be a list. Um, I'm uh, an idiot. I, I believe okay. the logic that Harry threw at me. Yeah, the old friend card. Um, uh, Copernicus will. Ooh. Uh, fire poker the dog on the rock next to me. Uh, that's nine. Okay. Oh, I'm getting the value for use claw ACC. Uh, value. just click OK on zero twice or however many times it oh. requires. I'm gonna try and go fix that right now. Um, and then I will guard. Guard. And I think that's all I can do. Emmy. Okay. Well, I will take a step forward because I'm looking to kill these dogs that are fighting Copernicus. And I'm going to take my murderous pole arm and I'm going to strike downward justly and hope I kill. Woo! Back overflow. What happened? Um, That is still an error if you never changed the... Uh the memory on the text file for map tools when you changed or something. Uh, it all went through correctly, but it's not going to output when you error. So whatever you did, you killed two of them. Uh, Pog! Woo! Great work, Emmy! We will live this yet! Uh, but I think because you errored... Uh, no, I think the thorns worked correctly because you took armor damage. Yeah, everything worked correctly. Okay. So I killed them, it just didn't show it. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, what does haste do? Because on kill, I gain plus two haste per uh, Haste is movement speed, so your move is eight now. It shows on your, when you have over your character. Oh, shit, dude. I'm about to be speedy as fuck. I wonder if we kill the alpha if they go away. Um. Tony. Yes. It is your turn. Let me see if this okay. music is bigger. Big music. Where's the alpha? Is he's back there? Um. All right. Uh, can you show me how you moved again? Yeah. That way. So I went on two, three, four, five, like this. 
Okay. Um. All right, here we go. Kitchen knife. I get this is 15. The one right next to me. I, I never redeclared them, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. Ow. They really hurt. Yeah. That's what happens when you be stabbing a lot of times. That's true. Uh, okay, that's all I could do. Oh, fuck. There. I mean... I could... I could quick attack, but that'd be a humongous waste. Yeah. I can uh, kill you up. Okay. Jimmy now arrives to where Eerie is. Got anything right, going so on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest here with you. This, I feel like, is Jimmy's reaction to walking into this, and I'm posting it in sideways. This is just his reaction. Oh, yeah, classic. Yeah. I yep. <laughs> Same you know dude. Yep. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just walk in, and he's just like, yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, Jimmy will simply look at Aerie. What the fuck happened? They were killing her. I ain't helping them. I'm debating. She looks at her hand as she looks at Copernicus. She says nothing further. It'd be so easy. Fuck you. Know, you. For once, I, I, I agree. With Seymour. Uh, that's your turn, though. Uh, yeah, my turn is I literally do nothing. Eerie. So no change from usual combat. <laughs> <laughs> He's done a lot. He's hit many things with hammers in the back of the head. He hey, watches. <laughs> I watch and provide. Listen, my goal is to buff up Tony so that he can walk up and one shot the boss. Tony, yep. were you involved in this? Uh, uh, actually, no, I wasn't. Is that... Is that the truth? I'm a little busy right now. And yes. Copernicus! What? I... Guy says what? I love magic. Oh, okay. I and love you not would kill dying. Me too. Wouldn't you? Not presently. Not presently. Look, I'd be happy to talk about this later. But right now we're a bit busy. Will you aid us? I will Or let aid. us to rot? I will aid Tony and Emmy. You... Good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, glances over at Jimmy like... Tony's a kind of a cool dude. <laughs> it sucked for him to die for something like this. It's just... Pew. Let's do, or not. Oh, no, I did it, damn it. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not in range this far? Oh, okay, fine. Oof. Oh fuck, that thorn damage is... <laughs> Really brutal. Oh my god. Yeah, that is super nasty. I think oh, uh, medium Tony is gonna need a medium heal. They rolled really well on you too. Hmm. Can I only hurt them once? Uh, you're out of actions. So. 
Oh, am I? Uh, I thought it was just relentless bow. So I could shoot twice. Oh, is that, does it take my actions? Oh, okay. My bad. I didn't know. That's all right. My turn then. Um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you shot twice, right? Yeah, I shot twice, but I thought that Relentless lets you do it twice, like a double attack thing. But I uh, could no, have yeah. had my... Yeah, it lets you use multiple actions. Normally, a weapon would only let you use it once per turn. Got it. Okay, yeah. Duly noted. That's fine. That's all I, all I do for now. Cliff Wolf Alpha. Walking up. One wolf on fire is not enough. Even the fire triggers the thorns, dealing some damage spit back towards Copernicus as it wells oh, in the flames. It does? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's Reflect horrible. Damage. Oh, no. uh, this is one of the few with double actions, so it bites twice. Oof. Oof. Uh, we're going for Emmy. Ow. Ow. Oh, wait. That's oh, not Emmy. Emmy. <laughs> That's <laughs> not Emmy. Copernicus. Critical hit him. What the fuck? Okay, well, good news. That thing I talked about making, uh, you were hit for 15 damage. There you go. <sighs> A deadly premonition of what could have been. Uh, let's do that again on Emmy. Uh, then the one that I switched turns to also wants to go for Emmy. She's that looking move? tasty. Is that what? I think that was eight move. Unless uh, it goes through Ally. I can go through and it was... Okay. Pretty sure it was seven. Oh, that is eight. Why is that eight? Oh, I see what's happening. There is a really fucking weird thing. Um, the the roots on the ground are actually doubling move, and they that's, oh. that shouldn't be a thing. That's cool. Roots. Ow. Biting on Tony. Tone. Hang in there, Tone. Oh my god, that oh, hit. Oh, fuck. I don't feel so good. Bitey fuckers. A miss on Emmy. A hit on Emmy. I'm just trying to get through this quickly because there are so many. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Why does this one want to kill Copernicus? Well, it'll randomly run across the battlefield towards Copernicus. Can they diagonal hit? No. This okay. one randomly wants medium, Tony. Oh, God. No! Sorry, he didn't hit him. Uh, this one also wants medium, Tony. Fuck. Oh, no. No! Goodbye, friends. No! Oh, geez. Last chance is triggered for medium Tony as he is on one HP now and stress gains. Stress being uh, sanity damage at the start of every turn. And this one wants Emmy. She rolled a one. Lamau. Oh my god. She rolled a two, a one, and like a three. <laughs> Camarilla. Out of 12. You poor bastards! I'll give you something to fear! Uh oh. Copernicus is demoralized, which is a minus 15 to accuracy. Oh, gosh. Okay. Copernicus. Um, Copernicus will cast Hominus Prosperous on his good buddy Tony. Healing him 22. Um, and then he will cast Spike Ball. And... Does Spike Ball have a range on it? Or you would need... It's range it? one. You may not and have a spot to put it. 
Is it isn't it like a push into people thing? Uh, I think the skill specifically says something about if you can't place it, you can't do it. Oh, it doesn't say on the description, but if that's the case, then case. Let me double check. So I also think you're probably just using it to heal yourself, right? I'm using it to heal myself and hopefully take up a spot from the enemies, like push them out of the way was the idea. Uh, one second, I'm going to double check it. Um, I'm going to say you can't, and I can refund the healing. Okay. And the action. And it also costs one focus. Yeah. Actually, I should think it was two focus. So I, I had spent. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, it was one. Uh, oh, no, it was no, wealth. It's, it's it was wealth. wealth. Okay, I'll give you the wealth back. Did you actually heal 10? Uh, I it didn't say I did, but. I might have. It also would have given me armor because when I spend focus, it gives me armor. Um, oh no, but I didn't spend focus. I use that to heal. Never mind. The army, the armor is normal. I think I healed from it that I shouldn't have. I don't know how much health I had before using it though. It's easier to just let you have it <laughs> at this point. I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, switch to Emmy's turn. I'm going to. I'll go fetch Wait. another one. Oh, okay. All right. I will attack potentially downward to save Copernicus from these bitey bitches. I'm going to hopefully whack these two. I strike downward rightly. Woo! Go. One good. I almost Hog. destroyed your spike ball, actually. Because of the thorns. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Jesus. Did the spike ball do any damage to the one below me? Uh, no. The the second upgrade for spike ball is specifically for pushing it when you create it. So that's uh, okay. like a whole extra level of spike balling. Gotcha. Um. Okay, is that your turn, Emmy? Uh, I think so. I don't think I can do anything else. I could try to move, but I think I'll take attacks, so... Uh, and you can't I move will... after you action. Oh, okay. Well, then I am finished. The stress of combat gets to Tony. Uh-oh. Wait, what's happening with him? Oh, right. What is the effect on Tony right now? Uh, every turn he's going to take, uh, next turn he'll take eight sanity damage and then it'll lower to six. It's just a uh, sanity damage over time that mm. was triggered because he went into last stand. You gain 10 stress when you do. Oh gosh. Okay. What'll it be? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll attack the one, uh, what's this, 14. Here we go. Um. Oh, 
Why didn't that kill him? Yeah. Why didn't that kill him? It did 14 damage. Or 16 damage. They have armor. Is that... Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, in that case... Ow! Fuck. Ow, spikes! Ow! Is it because the knife attacked twice? Yeah. Damn. It wouldn't have died from the first hit, though. I think it's armor protected it. Yeah. I think it had more armor left. Um... I think the second knife hit would always hit it, even if it does go down in the first, and there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and I can't move after I've attacked, right? Yep. Okay, then that's it. Ooh. Spike dogs are rough. Would that mean we could heal them the two that the second hit did on the corpse, or is that not possible? Um, the mechanics just don't work that way. He's going to take the damage. Okay. Jimmy's right, my, turn. Even though my I turn. Know. I already know what Jimmy wants to do for his turn. What are you doing? Oh, I can't wait. I can only. Oh. Oh. What were you gonna I, do? I was gonna target the alpha with imbue. <laughs> oh shit! Because <laughs> it's going after Copernicus. Okay. Oh, uh, is it not in range or you can't target it? I can't I can't target him. Uh actually let me let me double check. You can now. Okay. I'll allow it. You haven't you're technically like <laughs> go for it. Oh dear. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, Jimmy cast imbue. On on the alpha. I like see. And like all all Jimmy's trying to do is just point at Copernicus and like keep eye contact with the alpha. Be like, listen, we both hate the old man. <laughs> Wealth and nature him. combined into one singular force. <laughs> is that all? Yep, that's that's it. Well, I, yeah, I can't really do anything else. Uh, actually, does command not have a cooldown? Oh, it, it just costs focus. Um, it should have a cooldown, but now that I've switched your turn, it would be off cooldown, so I can't eh, actually see. Doesn't matter. If it was, if it, if it would have been on cooldown, the only person I would have used it on is Eerie. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to. I, I don't. Anyway. I don't think you used it last turn. Because oh, last no, turn didn't. we skipped yours, so it would be off cooldown by now if you wanted to use it. Eh, I would use it on Eerie. Oh gosh, where are you putting me? Wherever you wanted to go. Because uh, you're the only one in range that would actually affect with this, and it doesn't cost I... me anything to cast. So, ba bam. It does cost Eerie. focus. Uh... Well, okay, it cost me focus. That's the only thing that cost me focus right now. So yeah, that's the that's a good question. I don't know if I want to move. <laughs> Given um, the option to go anywhere, goes okay. nowhere. Okay. Well, <sighs> this 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 is now uh, kind of this is pretty bad. Um. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're getting out of this one, boys. Tony. Yeah, what's up? Do you want to die like this? No, I want to die in general. Will you die for Copernicus? For his mistake. No, no. Okay, I'll bail you out then. Um, if I charm something, will it still trigger attack of opportunity? Um, it gets taunted. Yes, it will. Like hypothet 
Okay, it still will. All right, that's fine. I, I can do something else. What did I do to make sure things didn't attack? Wait a minute. This spell change? What does Hindered do? Uh, hindered prevents reactions. Ah, okay. So yeah, that is what I was trying to do. That's 20. Okay. <sighs> Emmy! Yeah? You're my friend. Yeah? Are you willing to die for his mistake? Yeah! Oh dear. And there's nothing I can do for you. Camarilla! Hit this dog! I'm not gonna be able to kill them all. Camarilla! What is it? I'm so sorry. I didn't know that they would do this. It has been decided for you. If I give him to you, will you let the other ones go? What happens now? Not even I can help. If I give him to you, will you let us go? She shakes her head and stands by her previous statement. She bites her lip. There's no escape for us, I guess. Jimmy, at this point, you're probably going to be dragged in, too. We have to kill them. Not Copernicus, to clarify. He's next after the dogs, then. She, she makes like a pensive expression at that, but either way, she looks down at the dogs. Prioritize keeping Emmy and Tony alive. I I'll don't do know my how best. Do that though. Either way, Tony, you should probably back away from that. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll do my best. You have one more action, Yuri. Yep, I was just trying to figure out what the fuck I should do with it. Um, range six is that within my range? Yes. Looks like I'm not using your command. I'm sorry. Or well, actually, I might to back away. You can't move after actions. All right, never mind. Ah, oh, shit. What's the cliff wolf underneath? Uh, cliff 19? Wolf 19. You can back away safely. The enemy phase begins. Oh, God. A juiced up alpha cliff wolf confidently strides towards Emmy. It wasn't Copernicus. What are you talking no! about? <laughs> oh, my no! God. Oh, I didn't really oh. even look. Are you sure it was Copernicus? It's, it's target I could, Emmy. I could have swore it was going after Copernicus. Did I reroll the declares at like a weird time by accident? I don't know. Well, this is awkward. Bad dog. Hold on, I'm looking at the logs real quick. Was it like a persuasion thing he tried to do, or did it actually say Copernicus before? It may have been more of me. Now I'm thinking about it, I may have just tried to persuade it. And it was never in the actual log. I tried to charm a dog. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that I re-rolled it. Wait. Nope. Don't. Yeah, no, the me. last re-roll was, uh, it was not targeting Copernicus. <laughs> well, awkward. I stand by me pointing at the Copernicus. Maybe Dog will understand. Dog does not understand anything and confidently walks up to Emmy and punishes her. That is a juiced up alpha. No! Oh, 
Oh, dead. Um, I don't believe their bite is relentless. For the alpha. I am hurt. His extra attack applies to others, not himself. Uh, he has two actions because Dreadcry takes two. But his bite... Uh, the reason the Cliff Wolves can do it, because they have relentless bites. Uh, let mm. me double check before I press the button and enter. Realizing I am quite surrounded. Man, I'm glad nobody made the situation worse for you at all. Um, uh, it can. These damn dogs. <laughs> Emmy brought down to a single knee in between a whole bunch of dogs. Not too unlike her hogs, but more vicious. Prefer my hogs, not dogs. Emmy! The flaming blaze of this dog's starting turn destroys the spike ball. Had I barely knew ye. Spike ball sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he's targeting Copernicus. Oh, goody. The double action. Great. Emmy. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, Emmy. Emmy falls no! to the floor. A madness gained. No! And injury is setting in. She's at minus 6 HP. If she goes to minus 15, she gains an injury. I'm still alive? Uh, you are still alive. So what happens is every negative 15 HP you go, you gain an additional injury. When you have four injuries, you're dead. Oh, shit. Okay. So there are chances for you. It's a bit of a slow death. Just taking a note that you got a madness. Uh, target Copernicus. I love eating Copernicus. Oh my god. <laughs> One more bite on Emmy, finding ow, ow, significant purchase. Ow, her laying ow. on the ground leaves her exposed, more likely for critical attacks to land. However, she's still at minus 13, so no injury is triggered. Uh, but the Cliff Wolf has an additional attack. Ow, ow, ooh, ow. That's a serious injury. Ah! Oof, ouch, my bones. Eek. One injury for Emmy. Uh, this wolf randomly wants Emmy. Wait, um, this is not the charmed one. It doesn't really have anywhere to go. That's the charmed one that wants to eat the one that wants to eat Emmy. Jimmy? Oh, you bitch. Oh, you fools. Look what you've done. Uh, 1d2 to choose between Copernicus. And, well, Emmy's fucking dead. Never mind. She would target Copernicus because you were the ones who tried to burn her alive. She fears Copernicus even deeper, adding stress on top of the uh, demoralized condition. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Copernicus um, will first look to Emmy being devoured and cast Hominus Prosperous. In an attempt to heal her back up, I brought her to zero. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. What does that mean? That means she remains unconscious. Fuck. This is isn't... it every 15 after, or does she have to go back to my negative 15 to trigger another injury? Uh, now that she's been healed, negative 15 would trigger the next one. Ah! Oh, so it did nothing. Well, no, if you do, if someone heals her again, yeah, then she'll be up. It's, it's not it's, like 5e where she goes to 1 to 0 HP and then is healed. You have to heal back the negative HP. Gotcha. Okay. Um, He will look to uh, Eerie and Jimmy and say, 
You may hate me, but I know what I'm doing is right. If not for me, do it for the others. Save them. <laughs> and then he will guard. Copernicus looking tanky, holding the line. Emmy looking on the floor, gaining stress. Out. Having, uh, we'll go with, uh, combat nightmares. Medium Tony. Oh boy. This one will oh. target you! By oh the way, no. you can move away! Oh no. We could even run! Cringe. Uh... You running? <laughs> you running? You running, man? Uh, Tony's gonna just so he doesn't get ganged up by a bunch of other wolves. He's a lot. I'm luring them away. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Why are you so good? What? Good at what? Just. You're just good, Tony. No, I'm okay. I mean it. Is that all? I mean, I can't do anything else. Can't attack anything. Wait. <laughs> I feel like every time I click next, that's when a player is like, hold up. Wait. Wait, hold up. I got another turn. Hold up. Wait. I have a versatile longbow that someone gave me from a bandit camp. Ugh, hold on. Does that need two hands? It does. It does. Would equipping, would equipping it be all my actions? Um, I'm not gonna let you do it because you said your turn was over. I'm pulling. Ah, I'm pulling fuck. the you said your turn was over card. Oh come on, nothing up, Barry. It was a very confident my turn is over, Jimmy. Well, oh. <laughs> Jimmy is sad that the dog in front of him wants to eat his face but acknowledges that he needs to kill it or his face is going to get eaten. So anyway, I'm going to do this. Ow. I take damage. It hurts. I don't... I don't know if it's worth it to even do an unarmed strike. Do it. The thorns are so bad. Yeah. Wait, so did I do 5 damage or 10 damage? The so 5 damage was to you, the 10 damage was to the dog. Oh, because he only took 4 damage. Uh, they have, have armor? armor. Oh, they have armor. Mm. Well then, this is awkward. Um... I could imbue Eerie, but you only do two damage. Yeah, no, I'm not the I'm not the play. Yeah, no. You should. Uh, um, I, I could unarm strike him. That's about all I got. But I would take the thorns as well. Eek. Uh... Question: Does can I command myself? Oh, it's on cooldown. Never mind. Also, no. Mm. Squad probably... stealth. I disappear in front of him. I can charm him. Wait, can I? Did I charm last turn or the turn? No, you I charmed, charmed last. last turn. Fuck, yeah. I can't do it this turn then. Uh, Does charm I... have a cooldown now? I'm sorry, that uh, ability has changed more than any in the whole game. I, I assumed that you can't do the same thing twice with spells, but if that's not the case, then I'll happily charm oh. it to not hurt Jimmy anymore. Uh, yeah, it has no cooldown. You could do it on your turn. Shit. Okay, so that's the plan. All right. Well, then I probably should just unarm strike it. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. But it only I think does two. The plan two. is I'm just going to make sure that people don't get hurt by charming them to fight each other into like a giant fucking meat grinder. And then we just handle them. I will. Then I will not punch the AoE spikes and 
lose a fourth of my health. Yeah. So That's your turn play. is over. I'm going to wait until you say in turn, and then I'll tell you my next move. Okay. So anyway, what we do is we run away. <laughs> you want to run? <laughs> Jimmy would oh, run away. God, my sanity. Jimmy would run away. Yeah, okay. God, is this going to put me under? Nope, but it's going to be really fucking close. Oh, wait, shit. I. How far away? Range six. Oichi mama. I just want to run, dude. It's. I can't move after I attack, though. That sucks. Um. The one underneath you is 21, right? Uh, that is 20. Uh, yeah, 21. <sighs> the Camarilla? Yep. Yikes. How the tables turn. Oh no, I just went to max sanity. Oh, yeah, I missed that. I thought that I thought that I had. Wait, I thought I had seventeen. If you had seventeen, charm would cost thirty because it's double. Because oh, of I thought it automatically calculated. Oh, okay. No, that, right, I well, remember specifically telling you that it can't do that. Okay, yeah, that's my bad then. I, it, worth it for Jimmy, I mean. It's fine with a little insanity among friends. You got one more little movie. <sighs> That's true. The wolves go next turn, so there's no point in making them that. Uh... I hate this. I'm just checking their actions. I'm sorry for taking so long. Um, a valid, a valid time to take your time. Mm. She only has 12 HP. If I... Is she in range? She is. That's my turn. Yikes. Camarilla senses the magic that's been used on her, knowing it can only be coming from one source. Why? What have I done? You could have taken the deal, girl! I gave the out! How is this my fault? Any of it? It wasn't! But, I mean, come on! You're I all monsters! I know! It's, this whole situation's fucking bullshit! I hate it! I, I wish that people would just be fucking considerate and not just fucking kill people, but just... You can't... You can't pretend you did nothing anymore! It's time he, to Tony, die. Tony shouts from across the battlefield. He did say he was sorry. <laughs> this is true. One miss. Yeah. Lucky Copernicus. Ugh. The beefed up muscular pug monster. Oh my god. A normal 22? hit for 22 damage. Indeed. Uh, a little bit of biting on Copernicus. 
Oh. Oh my god. The dogs Yikes. relentlessly continue biting at Emmy's body, laying there limp. Eaten. Yikes, they really want her. Uh, How? How do you miss Emmy? Ass dog, you missed an unconscious Shit. corpse. Emmy's tanking. <laughs> this is truly the XCOM experience. I'm still a tank. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say, sir. It's the XCOM experience, but you buff the aliens before they attack your own squad. Listen, it's the XCOM experience of missing something that's prone right in front of you, not moving. Uh, this one is taunted to Camarilla. I don't believe you have attack of opportunity. But it walks away and takes one horrific chomp on the blight at Camarilla. <gasps> Annihilating oh. her. Putting her to the floor. That was the plan. Oh my god. That's what the blight did. What a Who's man. on what? Who's on whose team? Nobody knows. Camarilla's <laughs> corpse burns for the most burn damage it has taken so far. She yes! Finally! <laughs> Camarilla said she was going to still kill us for this whole thing. So, like, it, what was I going to do? Die? Okay. Copernicus gains one madness as his turn starts and the stress sets in. Can you make it out of this one? Emmy. Live. Okay. Live, Emmy. I'm up to my feet. Hey. Or I guess I should say, hey. Old Cap is not going to make it. Go off with the others. Well, I can't just leave you. You have to. They won't let me live. I mean, I physically can't. I like, I'm, I'm not really running anywhere. Fair. Maybe do a really big hit and you can make it. Enough path for us to get out. That would be good. We should, we should try and make it in the house. <laughs> the funnel. The house is on fire. <laughs> yeah, let's That's let's add some clarity. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just so into we that, don't man. forget. I mean, we did our job. We burnt the witch. At least we did that much. Be proud of that. Okay. I'm proud. Now let's show these dogs what for. I agree. Fuck these dogs. He's gonna see. What is what are the status effects on me currently? Um. Uh. Dead, downed, and dying. You have uh, demoralized minus 15 accuracy exposed because you hit last stand exposed. Sets your defense to minus 25, so things will hit you more. And Did I get to last stand? You must have, because that's the only way exposed would be on you. Oh. I don't think I... I don't remember. I, I'm pretty dead. sure that dog hit you for like 27 damage, and you were like, what? I... No, I, that only killed my armor, though. My... Uh, hold on, what's... Oh, it, uh, she stressed you because she used fear on you again. So your last stand has not been used. Okay. Um, I have Thurible Cleanse uh, that I can use to heal a status effect on an ally. Can you tell me what uh, different things... Anything. I could cleanse with that. So, like, I could cleanse one of the things on me, or is there anything I can cl cleanse on Emmy to make it easier for her to escape? Uh, she only has demoralized and stress on her as well. If you were going to cleanse something, the best would be the fact that you're exposed. Exposed is very bad. Okay, I'm gonna do that then. Wait, which status stress is the only option I had? Uh, did you click OK? I haven't clicked OK yet. Uh, just click stress. 
and I'll remove it. Okay, I removed your exposed. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I can do. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Oh, wait, but wait. Out. Hmm? Nothing. I was making a joke. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, so there's there's two dogs that are charmed, right? Do they stay charmed? Uh, They're charmed for one turn, so they're not charmed anymore. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, well, shit, I forgot about that. Well. <laughs> surrounded on all sides. Little chance of escape. If we can kill the alpha, maybe they'll run. That would be pretty epic. I can I can hit the alpha. I don't think I'm going to kill him, but I'm, I will probably kill the guy behind him, assuming. Oh, I this is where I want to ask. What's Frenzy? Because he gets that when taking damage. Frenzy is bonus damage. He will deal plus 1d Frenzy, but he'll also receive bonus damage equal to Frenzy. Oh. Uh, it is rolled every time, so it's not always uh, max. You know, it'd be like 1 to 5 if he had 5 Frenzy. Gotcha. Mm. Okay, I might just have to. <laughs> I might have to get these dogs attacking me off of me because they're just gonna knock me down next turn. I could switch to a Demer Blade and kill maybe. Yeah, I keep forgetting to declare mm. them. Yeah, go for the ones that are attacking you. That's good idea. Okay. I'm going to rip out the blade and attempt to fight these two directly to my side. And luckily, my necklace prevents me from hitting Copernicus with my strike. So I say duck, and then I go for a kill. <gasps> Absolutely. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. So no. Okay, oh, I, no. I, I have to ask. My eyes. Oops. Does it, does it roll the miss on each one, or is the attack itself missed? Um. It is the same for all the attacks. You can see the six is what it rolled. It rolls the same for both. Okay. So tragically unfortunate. I still say we're an XCOM. That was our best chance. Yeah, for this is some this. XCOM shit. <sighs> uh oh. Those right now, I'm pretty sure are like a two percent chance to happen. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Can you use focus three roll? Is that a thing still? That, is that, only that for was dialogue? only for social skills. Uh, it's five okay, percent, okay. according to your tooltip. Uh, I think the tooltip's wrong. I changed it because I don't like when it happens, so I made it lower. But it keeps happening. Ugh. <laughs> it will continue Slippery to happen. on the blade because of all the blood. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's your turn. Oh my god, they're gonna be eaten alive! I'm in a mulch. Actually, Tony. if you look at them, they all want to eat you right now, Emmy. They... Oh wait, no. They do. Yeah. I think every yeah. single one. They oh, all fuck ex yeah, Ooh, except for like two. Else. There's only for this one. The, there's this one right here that wants to go after me, and then this one wants to go after Copernicus. Everything else. Let's take a oh, lot of wants Emmy now too. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, he's being Tony. Uh, <laughs> it's oh god, is it's my turn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I equip the bow? Hey, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So. If you take oh, okay. off both knives, you can, uh, as a start of turn action, change your what's in your hands. Okay. All right. Here's the bow. Um. It is now equipped. Uh. God. Can I? Uh, I want what to be I very clear. To yeah. That if you shoot forward. Uh, bows yeah. have a chance to penetrate, and you could potentially also just shoot Emmy with it. Okay. Because it will Something go. It has a chance okay. of going through one target. What do I want to just shoot two that are up top? Like, well, if you shoot, well, if, if you even the, even still, if you hit these two, mm -hmm. you're still gonna thorns her twice. Oh, I am. Yep. Oh, I'm taking damn no matter what. Yeah. So you're, you should go for your best shot because she's gonna take damage no matter where you shoot. Yeah. Just. I think it's either go for the alpha and go for an omega crit. Um, or, I would go for these two. Or go for those two and just try to minimize okay. the amount I'll of them. Go for, I'll go for those two. 
I'm not Who gonna knows? take thorn damage and get bit. Uh, thirteen. This, this is all just so bad. If only this could have been avoided. Oh, okay. okay. Well, there we go. Oh, okay. hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> nice. That sort of helps. Can I shoot twice? No. Uh, is your bow relentless? Oh, no, it's not. No, I think it's a two action bow. It is. Oh, it is. Ah. It is. Okay. That's why it does eight damage. Oh, that was your quad strike. I see. That's a good use of it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why he likes the number four. It's actually mm -hmm. really funny because the only one you killed was the one that wasn't targeting me. <laughs> well, look, I uh, what do you want me to do here? No, Come I'm on. With it. Like, it's definitely better than it was. <laughs> All right, Jimmy's gonna walk up. Here comes and Jimmy. I... Walk up and uh, buff one of them. <laughs> hmm. What's haste? Extra move speed. Okay, then that's useless. Because I can either uh, I can either hit this one right here, or I can use both my actions to do a four tile heal. Which I don't actually know if Copernicus is in range of that. He would get it. I'll deal with him later. Morale now. Ah! <gasps> Not what I expected being saved by the boy. <laughs> you Jimmy! Massive heal, holy shit. Let out a battle cry to let him know that you're on their side again. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have to assume that, but. Thank you, my boy. I didn't do that for you. I did I that knew for him. I it in you, Jimbo, my Bob. Now let's kill some dogs. I feel so much better. Thank you, Jimmy. And he will end with, I'm a better healer than you. Nope. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but okay. <laughs> Eerie. <sighs> hey, boy. Oh, you're Looks just trying to do what was, you know, I'm sorry. Looks down at dog. Do you even have a melee attack? Oh. The dog goes to bed. <laughs> and I cannot move after that, so. Aw, him sleep. That's cute. Yeah, now the dog's free to be pet. <gasps> oh, God. <sighs> its Hell belly yeah. raises to Eerie. She must resist. God, if I pet him, they'll wake up. No pets. Oh, it's the enemy what face. What a heartless oh, hold on. person you are, not petting the dog. Let me put on it the hurts, You Die man. music. Oh. Hey, it's the Alpha's turn again. Yikes. Oh. Dude, Pog! Uh. Ow! Oof. Left Pog. Oh, no. Cringe. Enemy. I don't think I'm living through the Oh! Out! <laughs> I might be going down again. No! Blah. More madness. And a crit, fuck. Ooh, that's unlucky. Oh, God. I think that's another major injury, too. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't reach 15, as far as I know. They did. Oh, my negative. They did. Oh, I did. Oh, God. God, they're so uh, bitey. What a fucked up day. I mean, might be the <laughs> only person who dies from this. I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> uh, I think gonna die. That is all. Back to Copernicus. <laughs> oh, my fuck. Copernicus is out and of yes, heal. Emmy. Yeah, Emmy gets another injury. Ooh. Ow. Oh gosh, all of her tankiness is gone! That's true, dude. It's I'm gone. enfeebled. 
Um, okay. This alpha is still looking pretty juicy. Yeah. I... I need to kill the one on fire below me. Um... I will Thurbal of Hendrike it. Uh, it still says value for full zero when I click that. Um. Oh. Um. Well, why are you using the Thurbal? Let me ask you that. Isn't it an attack? It is. I mean, I'm just... Why are you not fire pokering? You don't want it to fire burn? fire poker is restrained and... Or is like double attack, so I get... Spikes twice, and the burn. Ah, okay. Um, damage. Let me figure out what's happening with that full. That's I my mean, bad maybe it's for not a better that. for damage, but I feel like it does more back to me. I, I can just use the poker. Uh, no, no, no. I think I got it. Yeah, I don't know why it's using that targeting. It's weird. Okay, go for it now. Yeah, there it goes. All right. And then I will guard. Guard putting in work. Yep. Is your turn? That's the end of my turn. <laughs> Emmy, is that the end of your turn? I do believe it is. Tony. You are yes. three sanity remaining. Oh boy. Uh how do I get my sanity back? Um, I think pretty much the only way at this point is if combat ended or Copernicus removed your stress. Hmm. I can do that if you're close enough. But that's range of three. Ooh. I can't I can't make it there, I don't think. No, I can't. Ooh. Actually, uh, next turn you would take two sanity damage, you'd have one left. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's exactly le sanity lethal? That's so sad. Okay, I'll get a little closer, and then I'm going to shoot here. A little rip. Please don't hit me. Well, I, I don't think it can. It can only penetrate once, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, did she just full die right there? Nope. Emmy's at okay, minus 19. Oh. Mm, she's so close to it. <laughs> all right, that's all I can do. Oh, I forgot about the thorns. Fuck. That's all I'm saying. Like, eh, I don't know. Uh, this we poor can chatter. It. Envy is. I'm back. What happened You're... to the hut? Envy is. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad. Well, I have two major injuries, right? So I need two I more you had for full three. death. Yeah. Do I have three? Uh, you should only have two, because okay, the heal okay. actually did help a, a bit. Oh, thank God. I thought you were on three and you were about to get four. I think I need to hit negative oh. 30 to get three. Well, I guess Jimmy will just strike the dog in front of him and hope for the best. Because that's where we're at now. Please, God, kill it. Of course not. Two health. Cursed. <laughs> Oh, Wait, I'm a, I'm a kick it. Uh, I kick yeah. it. I, I was waiting for the miss. If the, if the, if the kick missed, I was, I was leaving. I was, I was leaving. Puts Emmy on a negative twenty three, and that's my turn. Not be right back until it's my turn. Uh, did I don't believe I keep forgetting. My bad. Need to keep redeclaring because they're all still targeting Emmy. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Well, I'm, I'm going to look at what their declares are. 
Copernicus, 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 Copernicus. One for Emmy. This one's for Emmy. Interesting, 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 interesting. Very interesting, that one. Planet in the bite. Wait, shit, if I do that... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna proc another injury from you. I, but I'm getting rid of the one that's gonna hurt you more. If it helps. If you can get rid of the one that's gonna hurt her, then that's better than taking a full round of bite. Wait, that's a real good question. Can I? I, I deal only for fucking damage. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Ah, I hate this. <sighs> the shitty part of it is that I have such chippy damage. And it just doesn't, I, I feel like I'm hurting more than helping if I deal damage. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. You could go for the one that's in front of me. That way it wouldn't hit Emmy. True. Can I even hit nine? I'd have to move. That's fine. So what's my range so I don't get two? I can't really tank much, so. Uh, what range is five plus addition, so six. I don't need to be here. Right next to my buddy Tony. That is a seven movement. Shit. Uh. Fuck, nope. That's literally where I have to be. You said nine, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, burn might kill him. Damage. Yeah, burn might get us three HP left. Okay. All right. Well, that's my turn. It's time for Copernicus to bleed. Oh God. Ow! Twenty-one. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh God, this. Luckily, so it long. burns. The damage was enough. Whoa. Four yeah, damage. The other ones. Oh, I'm totally going down. I don't think we can get you back up. So what have I missed? Oh. Uh, you're, you're, you're just in time. Oh. To watch Emmy die? Oh. Uh, Copernicus this time. We're mixing oh. it up. Oh. oh, good. I'm in danger. Don't bite me, bitch. Ow! <laughs> well, GG, everybody. It was a good run. Yeah. Uh... Oh, fuck. Uh, did you just gain two madnesses in one turn? Hold on. <laughs> yes, you, you did. You did. Maddening. How oh, mad? That's what, three madness that is, now? That is your third one this combat, yes. Um, you remain unconscious. Uh, Emmy remains unconscious. Uh oh. Medium Tony stressed to the brink. So here's, here's my, here's my thing. I'm looking at this and I'm like, we should run. Yeah. Like, this is, we, it, it, they are, we, we, this is going to sound morbid. But we take the time while they eat their corpses and run. Wait. It's my turn, right? It is your yeah. turn. Yeah. Seymour, what can you do for us? Oh, all of a sudden, do you want all Seymour's help? Well, look, it's your last resort. What can you do here? Hmm, depends what's on the bargaining table. Uh. I'll kill Copernicus. He's already dying. Yeah, but we could like make it fun. Hmm, how fun? What are we talking? Like, is he talking to all of us? A cliff or uh, everybody except Jimmy can hear him. Nice. So, well, okay, Erie and Tony can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> what if Why I just... let you have my body on Mondays? No, 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 no. Mm, too no. much. I'm going to need it every day. Every day. How valuable is your life? I mean, I'd say about middle of the road. 
Mm. Mm. Dude, just yes. go have these with them. I need all of your bodies or no deal. Whoa. Well, it's that or die. What if we stuffed his body with gunpowder and like lit it and kicked it off a cliff? I'm thinking that it's a little bit too much to pass up. Getting all of your bodies and your minds being forfeit to me. That sounds good. Uh, nah. Uh, we will blow up Copernicus, though. I do like that mm. idea. I sense it's going to happen whether I help or not. You keep bargaining with things you're going to do anyway. Actually, uh, I wasn't. No, we weren't going to do that. But so I guess, no, nah, it's no, not, not on the table anymore. Look at his entrails being pulled out by little cute doggies. It's okay, enough look, for what me. If, what if we kill a snake for you? A serpent, mm. yes. Mm, that could get you a little bit of a benefit. Not Kenneth. Well, not Definitely Kenneth. Kenneth. Oh, I can't do that. Come on, he's so cute. Start running then. Uh. Man, I don't know. Great position. Glad I can't hear it. <laughs> Jimmy's running anyway. <laughs> no matter what happens, Jimmy's running. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. Wait, don't we have haste for extra movement speed, too? Uh, haste wears off. Uh, it is not on you anymore. Darn. Oh, well. You I can probably reapply it on your turn after you move once. It's a two action thing. Sadly. That sucks. Wait, yeah. no, you can move and then use two actions. Wait, you're right. Is it only the, the attacking that locks you in place or would casting morale and then running with this haste also lock me in place? Anything that uses an action would lock you in place. Then uh, morale I will would count. run in the direction with Emmy and then cast morale after. So be within like four tiles of me. Uh, I can go to like, I can go to like go before here. me anyway, so. Oh, okay. Okay, well, yeah. Tony ran. That was his turn, right? Yeah. yeah. Jimmy runs. I run as far as I can, and then... I think you're already in range. Oh, okay. oh it's on cool. It's a long-ass cooldown, apparently. Oh, shit. Well, we'll get there eventually. I'm running. And uh, Eerie runs. And I'm running. Actually, this is... If it's next turn, then it's way more optimal, even. Hell yeah. And so it is that the party abandoned Emmy and Copernicus and were able to run to safety. We are going to have to pick up next week for what is likely <laughs> the synopsis episode as the final loose ends are tied up and we figure out once and for all truly what was the fate of Sideways. Oh god, this is how it god. ends. <laughs> There's still um, some things for you to do, but they are most certainly dead. As you feel their the last gasp of air coming from their corpse, death feeling ever more present in your bodies as he's gone from being within six of you, jitters included, down to only just four of you. The last chance for alignments and choices of what will happen to sideways in the future will have to be made by those who have survived brutal end i haven't actually seen like a bad end to a campaign before so i'm actually kind of, in a weird way happy <laughs> do you know what happened the first campaign mm -mm. no they killed themselves for <laughs> for death <laughs> it, no, it was a, it, it was indeed a ritual suicide oh huh. Yeah. Uh, this so, is kind of like that. Yeah, we're just, kinda, we're yeah, on we're, we're on par. <laughs> we almost killed all those dogs. 
Yeah, I think we could have done it, honestly. <laughs> we were we close. We could have. I think my largest tactical error was moving too far forward since I got flanked from the back. Mm. I could have killed probably an additional dog if they had to stack in front of me. As dumb as the imbue was, I don't think that would have changed anything because I looked at it. It was still a down regardless, even without the imbue. I mean, if it was on one of us, it might have helped, but you know. There, yeah, there were a couple I dogs that survived with 2 HP. Anyway, is anyone in the mood for some art? <laughs> yeah, let's see it. Yeah. 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 Let's look at art, dude. I love fan art. Anybody draw any of them getting their body parts pulled in half? It's a tragic end. Hold on, scrolling up to the top, getting my place. Take care of my pigs. Or eat on my guy. <laughs> uh, we had this from last week. I think it was a late submission of beef looking in on your pigs coming in to take one. Breach, sir. Seymour talking to the group. Or the dragon, mm. I guess. They, yeah, that's the dragon. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, think that's the dragon. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is this? I, for I forget Mar what this is from. Is that Mar you giving the dragon red? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, sh yes. shit. This is awesome. Someone cosplayed Jimmy. <gasps> Yo, what? what? Somebody cosplayed Jimmy? He's got a <laughs> fucking <laughs> hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Holy shit! Actually, cuz played really Jimmy. Funny. That's, that's, actually, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yo, that's, that's incredible. Hilarious. That's hilarious, dude. Yeah, that man. Is. It fits so well. You even like look like him without the cosplay. Yeah, dude. Uh, that literally looks like Jimmy. My God, stellar! That's so cool. Tiny hammer and all. <laughs> His hammer would actually be that disproportionate. Dear Trey. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. Volcanoes are nature. Volcanoes wow. are. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes! This is what I wanted. That wasn't even the worst thing that happened. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> ah, the young chippos. You know, if I didn't spend that heal on getting Jimmy up at the beginning, I think we actually could have pulled through because I didn't have any heals by the end. I could also use oh. that to damage the dogs because I didn't have any sanity. <laughs> There's a You're lot of things we could have done. Yeah. That's a lot of things that could have happened. Oh, creature. That's just a... He looks even more like a... <laughs> he was an alien the whole time. <laughs> Wake up. Tony's become like less human and more thumb-like over the course of the campaign. <laughs> Good. The more thumb like, the better. Uh, shit. Hold on. When you link things through Twitter, I can't just drag them over. Because then I think it, yeah, it, it tries to open all of Twitter. Yeah. We, we got a Copernicus standing up for what's right. Hell Witnessing yeah. Witnessing heresy. He <laughs> believed. He believed the objective so hard. Get what he wanted Even in the if end. we died, the witch was burned. Heck. <laughs> Min Max Pizza. <laughs> Min Max Pizza. <laughs> Unlimited breadsticks with every order. Damn, they called the cops though. Dude. They did. <laughs> Yeah, the <laughs> police force is uh, pretty fucked up. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't read my mind, but you know, mustache is good. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my, is it like Garfield guy. style? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Speak to me. Let it all burn. Harris. That's actually a good poster. That's a, yeah, yeah, that's sick. That that's, is a good poster. Cool. <laughs> no, Jimmy. Is that a pog death? I. Pog. When your vessels light a nature <laughs> ally's a house on fire. That is 100% pog champ. He would that never say pog. that. Take that back. Ugh. 
Burn that photo. Heresy, heresy. <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> cool. I, could totally I just want to. I just want to hear that and just now see Moore's voice. Let's fucking go! Or something like that. Oh, cute. Aww. So wholesome as they burned a old lady in the house. Damn, <laughs> I love the death candle. It just decided then. <laughs> I actually, you know, I guess it's fitting that the two people that stayed back to murder the witch are the ones that died for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Consequences. Buff as fuck, pog. Rip my boy. <laughs> and that's it. I never got to finish my shield. No, Ooh. the shield. No. It was gonna be so good. I wanted to have like a like a confrontation with Copernicus, but not like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can always touch his skull. I guess. I think he would slap me across the grave. <laughs> Eerie, I told you not to do this. This is heresy. <laughs> I pretend I can't hear you because this is heresy. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for playing. I'm pretty sure next episode will be the last episode, so there will be no okay. need for rerolling uh, unfortunate dead characters. Um... I think there will be a few loose ends to tie up and figure out what they do with the town moving forward. I'm not sure what the immediate future lies uh, ahead for Myriad, but I would love to have you guys as players again. I just don't know yes, when. Please. I can't promise. I'm always down, Stir. Just so you know, I'm always yeah, down. Sure. This, like it's you're a good time. Like I don't know how to like explain it, but like the game setup you've created is very nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. Well, thank like, you. I appreciate it. It's, it's it's vastly different from just like standard D &D. Yeah, It's a ton of fun. It's super all... fun. Yeah, oh, I I have some I stuff uh, planned for the future, so I don't know when I can get you in the game again. But I would absolutely you know love to do it and fix up all of the things that made it hard for me this time around. So hopefully the future is only better, and I'm looking forward to it. It just might take some time. It will be. I already know it will be. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Like a lot. Because it's been a lot of work, and it's hard at times to see your work pay off. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I, I've, I've talked to you about it extensively before, but genuinely, this is my favorite tabletop experience, period. And it's not just, it's not just the, the setting, which is already fucking fantastic, but, like, the way the game system works is just so fucking satisfying. And it feels much more enriching and, sat like, motivating. Because everything else is, like... And how would I put this? You always have to do the same thing. And that is the only way that you can be optimal. And like the only thing that you can do to be actually good at the game. I feel like I could have six like million different ways I could go across in your system and still like be pull my weight. Like you're you're actually contributing. Yeah, exactly. Like I didn't have to really play a specific role or do anything. I was able to just kind of move through the skill tree and still do stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, thank you. I just want the options to be exciting and not worthless because a lot of times the most fun, interesting choices are the ones that you feel like you're choosing something weak. True. Yeah, a lot of like, I, like a lot of fifth edition was just like, I guess I take this. Mm -hmm. I guess. Damn. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm not good with compliments. Thank you a lot. It means a lot, really. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, it's man. a great experience. It's a really yeah, good system you came up with. Campaign. Add fix boat as a spell, though. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I, I will definitely that's how, add that's fix how you, boat. That's how you can repay the compliments. Add fix boat. It will be a rare, very, like, a powerful wizard's gonna have to come through town and teach you fix boat. Mm-hmm.
actually, I was thinking it pretty much exists already. There is in, <laughs> there there is in lore fixed boat. There's yeah. a whole there's a whole Hell family yeah. dedicated to transmutating Expo. boats. Oh my god! Then it's already perfect. Yep. Well. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, thank you, thank you right. for. I'm gonna head out. Thank you for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. See you later. Bye, Bye everybody. everyone. Yep. We'll have Bye a good everybody. one. We'll tune in next week from the sky. I want to see. <laughs> okay. Evidence. I will as well. Goodbye, see guys. You guys. Bye. 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 Yeah, I'm hoping to explain a lot of the things that happened to really tie a nice bow on this campaign.